Welcome to Adam Does Movies Live. Tuesday, Dune 2 is showing for people. They're loving it. I went out and saw uh, Ordinary Angels last night. It was the Regal uh, Mystery Magic Movie Celebration thing. Uh, so no Dune. <laughs> I got my uh, I got a buddy that's going to be joining me a second off camera, and he's already I can I'm laughing because I see what he's doing, and we're going to get to it in just a second. Couple pieces of news before we jump into the real movie news. I got a new uh, a new video up today for Avatar, talking about my thoughts on this new live action nonsense coming out. I'm going to give it a shot. I plan on reviewing it, but I'm scared. Uh, so check that out. You may have seen I did a video on this kind of new wave of movie critics. I put that in air quotes because. Um, they're, they're saying a lot of nice things to soften the blow for when they start crapping all over a movie. And I find the whole thing very disingenuous. Uh, one individual who I won't name because I already talked about him. He, he just doesn't do negative reviews anymore because he's also in the industry. And I find that ridiculous. But um, to each their own, we're not going to dwell on it. If you're new here, thanks for subscribing in the last couple of days. I put out a Madam Web review, destroyed that movie. Uh, just absolute garbage. I don't feel bad about it. Sony is doing some of the worst films and not even just in the Sony Spider-Man universe that doesn't have Spider-Man, but also in general, they've put out a lot of crap in the last few years and they need to be stopped. They need to be reined in. Super chats are always the name of the game. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate it. I really do. I put them up on the screen. Someone already gave a super sticker. So we're going to just throw that up. Tyler for $2. With a super sticker. I can't see it on um, on this end, but I'll check it out later, Tyler. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's just get him on. He, he's just been holding this thing up the whole time, so I'm going to throw him in the... In the <laughs> there he is. Tony from Hack the Movies. Tony, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Adam, and I just want to say uh, I appreciate that you did not name Chris Stuckman. Good job. You know, <laughs> let's not draw attention to Chris Stuckman. Um, I think that was good. That was good because we're not a drama channel. Okay, That's true. we don't want to drama name drop Chris Stuckman and how he's afraid to make fun of movies. We're not going to say what movies they are, Madam Web. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, you I'm, know, Tony, yeah. after I put that video out, I thought two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to get absolutely bodied by his fans, which is yeah. fair. Or two, just no one's going to care like they usually don't when I put out a video. Yeah, I was not expecting a third option where a whole bunch of people actually felt the same way I did. Watch the video and subscribe to the channel. And, so <laughs> then I, and then I thought to myself, maybe I am a drama channel now. No, we're not, <laughs> not, not happening. I like movies too much to go down some deep, dark oh. alleyway where we just like bash on other movie critics. And to just yeah. set the record straight... I wasn't trying to bash on Chris Stuckman. He's yeah. doing his thing. He's making a movie. I just find it very, very convenient and disingenuous when two years ago he announces he's not going to make negative reviews. Yeah. At the same time, he starts making a movie. It just yeah. felt really kind of convenient. But um, again, he's doing his thing fine. I just don't want it to sully the name of other critics out there that are actually 
I, trying to do, you I know, guess, trying to like do good, good. Work. I guess he's afraid of people going hard all, uh, on his stuff. Um, that's my guess. Which I is, mean, if I yeah. get a movie made, I mean, that's going to be like the part I look forward to the most are people ripping it apart. Please, please send me a copy so I can have a good time. With By the way, so I like that he's like on the, a lot of hard work into went into it. I shit all over that documentary, The Last Blockbuster. I yeah. called it lame. I said it sucked. And then the like the the film's account like reply to it uh, like my post they're like sorry you think we're lame and I was like hey that's fine you can come to my show and make fun of me they didn't but then we ended up both being in the same documentary together the one about mom and pop videos oh that's nice and that's I'm like awesome. well it didn't hurt me much I don't know what Chris Stuckman's fucking crying about it just no one at Sony cares about him <laughs> no and the, and the fact that like if you're actually getting a movie made and you have that many people, he has over 2 million subscribers. And I yeah. think he has, wasn't he the number one fan funded movie thing or something? He had the whole movie fan funded, I believe on Kickstarter. Oh, I have no idea. I, I mean, the, like how, uh, like how amazing is that? So then yeah. to, I, I don't know. I it just, it, anno- it rubbed the fucking <laughs> shit out of me. Well, the it better way. be good. I'm so annoyed by it. It better be good. Cause recently a, a guy, Fan uh, funded his uh, comic book. It was like one of the most funded comics. And it turns out the comics sucked. Ooh. But we're not opening that can of worms. So oh. I, I can understand why Chris Stuckman's married. He's like, I'm going to be nice to everyone. So if my movie's bad, they won't rip me apart. It's like, oh, that's going to happen anyway, buddy. Yeah, Might as well have fun with it. There's no way around that. I mean, tell that to Zod Snap Neck is how I would re- reply. Yeah, if Adam oh. made a movie, sure. And I, you bet your ass I'm going to review it. And be like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? <laughs> what did he, why did he do this? Why did he cast me in the movie? I'm a terrible actor. That was a horrible decision. What would you, I was in one of the best Batman movies ever created, The Dark Knight Rises. What is Adam Ben in? No, the best thing, I want to I wanna do like promotion for the movie ahead of time. But then when it comes out, just say the opposite. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Adam, Tony... stop bringing up Chris Stuckman. We're trying to get past this, all right? <laughs> it's like Taylor Swift. You just say his name enough times and people will come to the oh, channel. Shit, I, don't, I don't have my Taylor Swift picture. Shit. Yeah. Uh, Tony, well, I assume at this point everybody knows you and I, and if they wanted to subscribe, they would have. Otherwise, they yeah. just can't stand you. But just quickly, you're from Hack the Movies. Do you have any little preamble you can do before we get into the movie news? Uh, yes, I'm Tony from Hack Movies. I review movies inside a very real video store. This isn't a basement. It's a very real video store. Uh, yeah, movies new and old. And actually, we're going to talk about some of the movies I reviewed on today's episode because we have news related to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Let's let's really celebrate though with two more super chats before we jump into movie news because I have shot out of a cannon. Rocky McFly for fifty dollars says, "What is one movie that you didn't love at first but then grew to like it, or what is one movie you loved at first but then got worse after each viewing?" I have a couple. Tony, if, if yeah. you don't have it, if you want to, if you want to, you know, simmer um, on it, I can give you one or two right out of the gates. Uh, yeah, no, oh, I you have, got one? Oh, sorry. I have a few. Yeah, actually, um, on Cinemasker, we had a whole episode about this. And the mm-hmm. one I picked was, originally it was Predator 2, which I was lukewarm on. And then you and realized then, it was worse. The more no, then I ended up, it, it was like the best sequel Because it's not ever. very good. Uh, no, you're an idiot. Um... <laughs> Uh, Doesn't yeah. the predator swear in that one? Doesn't he call him a fucker or something at the Mother end? Motherfucker! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so good. It was fucking awesome. You're an idiot. Oh, that my, so movie's so fucking, so fucking dumb. Okay, uh, I got yeah, one. For, let's go back and forth. We'll go back and forth. I, so, Castaway. The first time yeah. I saw Castaway, I was in high school and angsty and, and stupid, and I did not care for the movie mainly because I thought the ending sucked. Yeah. He doesn't end up with uh, Helen Hunt, which everybody wants to be with Helen Hunt at some point in time. Mm -hmm. Um, And then he has the crossroads at the end scene. Anyway, I watched it again maybe four years back with my son Connor, and we both absolutely loved the movie. Uh, My my son Connor would only have been like eight at the time, and he he really liked it as well, but he just likes movies. So Castaway, definitely a film that second time watch, amazing. I kind of have a feeling Rocky McFly might be setting me up here, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is a mm-hmm. legit question, but I'm hoping, or I'm hoping he's not thinking Adam's going to say Godzilla minus one was a movie <laughs> he 
did not like the first time, but has since rewatched and has found the light. No, I'm not watching. <laughs> I am going to watch Godzilla Minus One again with my family, not because I want to watch it again, but because I'm genuinely curious yeah. to see what they have to say. Are you going to watch Minus One, Minus Color? I didn't get to see the black I and white. I did not. Version. No, I didn't watch uh, Minus Color yet. Um, yeah, I was way too busy. Do you, do you, uh, got, do you got one that you um? Uh, yeah, there's like? two of them that people oh. hate me for not liking. Uh, okay. When I was young, I liked Ghostbusters 2 and the Lost World Jurassic Park. But as I get older, I'm like, wow, Ghostbusters 2 is just like Ghostbusters 1, but not yeah. as good. Yeah. Like, There's like good moments in like the first like half and then it went to shit. And then oh, Lost World, Lost World Jurassic Park. I was like yeah. six or seven, and the movie had three T Rexes in it. So to a seven year old, that's like the best. I movie mean, ever one made. of them, one of them's a baby. That's but why yeah, I said yeah, yeah, three, yeah. but yes. Yeah. Uh, and then as I got older, I'm like, well, yeah, sure. There's three T Rexes, but I'm not really enjoying it as much on. No, Rewind. that movie I've never yeah. liked. Lost World. I will say it has two moments in it that are freaking amazing, yeah. though. That. The scene the where the the RV thing goes over the side of the cliff and those yeah. two T Rexes are gang banging it was fantastic. Yeah. And then the shot of those Raptors running through the tall weeds. Just yeah, that that's they're they're picking guys off. Yeah, that should have uh, went longer. Yeah, and then unfortunately that that scene ends uh, by gymnast girl thwarting one of the Raptors oh. by gymnastically kicking it through a window with a goofy sound effect. <laughs> yeah, thank God they saved it with Jurassic Park three, but you know. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! I, I love that. I like Alan. dress. Honestly, I like Jurassic Park three more than two, and the yeah. reason I give is because it's a lot shorter. It's like an hour, <laughs> it's like an hour and twenty minutes long. You're like, let's get in, let's get out. <laughs> and, and it has that scene with the pterodon that does like this slow motion look. Oh, that Remember? scene's awesome! <laughs> I love that scene. Like, Damn, what are you doing here? You coming into my neck of the woods? Yeah, I love it. Um, <laughs> What's a movie that I loved at first but got worse af after each viewing? Uh, okay, so I the last year Barbie came out. I did the Barbenheimer thing. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Barbie kind of, but when I came home and did the review, I was very like 50-50 on the movie. Yeah. And on Rotten Tomatoes, I think I went back and forth with a fresh and a rotten like nonstop. It's just one yeah. of those movies where it's like, I kind of enjoyed this, but God, some of this shit really bothered me. It was so long and drawn mm. out. I would say that I tried watching it again with my family, and it was a lot worse for me the second time. Really? A lot worse for me. Um, Lindsay hated it. She left halfway through. Wow. Uh, Olivia liked it. My daughter, my my 12-year-old really, or I'm sorry, 14 now. My God. No, 15. She just turned 15. She's, She's now going to be taking her permit. <laughs> uh god i'm old um she she liked it a lot connor doesn't like anything with uh strong female leads so he was out right away well but, yeah um, obviously that's why you uh, make him watch all those andrew tate videos of course oh my god <laughs> you know i still really don't know who that is other than like white supremacy or something maybe no he's, no, he's not even white so you're far oh, off on that okay. but he is an asshole <laughs> okay I, I i i genuinely don't know anything about him other than the name he's one of those he's like i'm gonna teach you how to be a real man if you Pay me oh, he's dollars. one of those like alpha yeah. male guys. He's a manosphere guy. He's a manosphere oh, guy. Those guys are the best. Yeah, okay. I fucking love that. <laughs> yeah, that's so cringe. Okay, um, terrible. So I would say Barbie definitely got worse the second time I watched it. And if we're going to go really silly with things, I grew up watching Three Ninjas. If you remember that gem, oh yeah, of course. Rocky, Colt, and uh, who's it? Tum Tum. Yeah. And uh, I, I probably watched that movie like. 50 times as a kid yeah watching that movie today is so comically bad it's one of the <laughs> shittiest movies but uh, uh, you know different perception when you're i a used kid. to watch the second one a lot i think oh so one of those movies is actually directed by the director that uh kim jong un or ill whatever the one the dad is the, one of them like kidnapped a director and forced them to live in north korea and make movies oh wow and then they, he eventually escaped but i was like looking up what because uh, he did like a godzilla knockoff called paul gasari sure and i was like what other movies did he do when he got out of north korea and one of them was the three ninjas movie and i'm like that's oh fantastic. Boy, that's oh. a weird that's a weird can you, name, can you name them i can name the entire catalog uh okay okay hold on i might not have them in the right order that's okay three ninjas yeah three ninjas knuckle up yeah knuckles up that's the second one right three ninjas knuckle up yeah. and then three ninjas kick back kick back there is a and fourth. Then, 
and then three na- oh yeah uh uh excuse me hulkamania is in the fourth one uh i want to say it's uh it's three the, ninjas it's the worst title three ever. ninjas on magic mountain or high you're, noon or something what, you're really you're really close. high mountain what, what three is it? ninjas high noon at mega mountain shit i, I separated so it. close yeah I you had, combined it yeah <laughs> i can't remember like you i can't remember if it's knuckle up and then kick back or if it's vice versa yeah but there is something with one of the actors in there i think yeah. it's the kid that plays rocky He's in the first one, and I think the third one, something was weird with the contract, and so oh, he was yeah. replaced, and I think Tum Tum's different in them, and uh, yeah, Colton, or Colt or whatever, is the only one that yeah. stays the same. We've That's spent like too a, much time on Three Ninjas. What you call it? That's like the Phantasm movies. The main There's like one main actor in like all the movies, but then the second one, it was a different guy, and then he came back in three, and I'm like, this is tripping me up. I'm like, I don't like this. Get it right. <laughs> All right, Michael Michael for 199 says, thoughts on other cartoons with strong female characters. Thank Don't you watch him. He's, Don't watch him. <laughs> he, says, uh, he says thoughts on others because he must have watched my Avatar The Last Airbender video where I, I shout out basically the entire cast of Avatar. Mm. All the females are fantastic, well-written characters, yeah. the three-dimensional struggles, strengths, you know, not just mm. awesome for the sake of awesome. Yeah, uh, and the same goes for the guy characters. Other cartoons, well, I mean, I, I you got to go X Men, right? X Men '97. You got Rogue. You got Storm. Well, that's the name of a new one. It was canceled by '97, but I know. Well, what well, well, okay, X Men: The Animated <laughs> Series, I guess, is what yes. it was called originally. Yeah. Yes. yes. Da, 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 da. I actually, re- um, I actually started rewatching it because I'm going through like the X Men movies now. Wolverine is a total bitch in that show, isn't he? He really is. God, he's so. By the way, cool. by the way, so I'm sorry. Funny. Everyone's complaining that like Morph is going to be woke or whatever. Yeah. I watched the first two episodes of like, man, Wolverine is really gay for Morph. <laughs> like this, I'm like, all these people complain. They must not have watched the show because I'm watching like, man, this is really gay. And it had a female president. I'm like, wow, this 90s show was really woke. <laughs> My favorite, uh, you can already see the fucking videos going to come out by these assholes. My yeah. favorite thing is that whole show was was politically yeah. and social commentary all the way through. That's what the X-Men is. It's all about Don't rights get me wrong. for everyone. I think the new one is going to suck, yeah, but probably. they're going to only focus on that part. I'm like, no, that part already existed. It's just now the writers suck. And, Mar- and let's be honest, Morph was the shittiest character ever. Just That's why they killed bit. him and brought him back to the <laughs> that guy. Laugh he had. Yeah. And- I think he came back in season three. Yeah, for- he came back as like a bad episode. dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bad, just bad. Um, I think that was... Uh, Deadpool's only appearance morph turns into like, three different so. people and it's Deadpool for like a second. Yeah. I believe so. Uh thoughts on cartoons of females. So yeah, uh X-Men. Uh trying to think what other ones I watched that had a uh, Powerpuff Girls. I'd say Powerpuff Girls. That was a great show. Yeah, that was art. Uh it was a great show. The movie was pretty <laughs> solid too. I ain't I I haven't watched Powerpuff Girls on a lot. Uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I have a daughter who I raised on that show, and I watched quite a bit of it. I was I was a brony for a little bit uh, inside, not outside. But you don't you don't wear the tail. I didn't have the tail. I didn't have like a rainbow backpack. But I I can list off. I believe I can list all the ponies. Um, (laughs) We got Applejack. Rainbow Dash, uh, <laughs> Shutter, no, not Shutterfly. That's a place where you buy stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, there is one that's like that. It's like Shutter, it might be Shutterfly or Shy. There's a Shy one, there's a Tough as Nails one, mm. uh, Twilight Sparkle. Uh, and my favorite, I can't remember the name, she was like a, a prissy princess, um, like a Devil Wears Prada type. Oh, uh, it's going to bother me that I can't remember. But uh, yeah, a lot we're going to lose a lot female, of sleep over this. I can tell uh, a lot of strong female <laughs> leads in the in the horse show. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Diamond. Um, it's Diamond something. I do want to say, circling back to Avatar, I am boycotting yeah. the new show. Oh. I'm still Bert. I uh, I was supposed to be Jackson Rathbone's body double in the last live action adaptation. The and movie? I got- yeah, and I got paid seven dollars to try on outfits for one day. They ended up not going with me, probably because I showed up to the fitting hungover. I was in college. Um, yeah, and they didn't go with me. And I think everyone universally agrees that his body double in the film wasn't uh good, and it took them all out of the film, and that was the film's only flaw. So 
You know, I could um, save that film. And... It's funny you brought that up. Yeah. I, I just rewatched that movie for the first time uh, a couple days ago because I was going to do an epic roast on it before yeah. the new show came out. Yeah. And I thought that that's what really stood out to me was this body double is not sitting right with me. It, yeah, it you just tell it wasn't the same Tony esque yeah. physique. Yeah. Like, look, 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 look. That yeah. looks just like Jackson Rathbone. Same. It's 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 like a, I know, a, I know, like a spitting image. <laughs> I that was really funny. Me just like really hung over, and they're putting like karate keys on me, <laughs> and I'm like, so how's the movie going? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like <laughs> my like dad picked me up. He's like, oh, you think you're gonna get it? I'm like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm about to do some alcohol bending right now. <laughs> my drift. I oh. see all the behind the scenes pictures. I'm like, wow, I wonder if this movie will be good. And then I saw the movie, and I went, oh. Never mind. Oh, well, <laughs> something you could have had on your resume, and now, yeah, now you yeah. can't. At least now? I got paid seven dollars. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of the uh, George Costanza when they're at the uh, foundation. Yeah, yeah, you were uh, gonna receive all of the estate from Susan after she but died. Now, but now, no, <laughs> <laughs> but now, no. Susan's coveted doll collection valued at something million dollars, and he just looks up at the painting. Oh. It's so good. Oh. A metallic swing. <laughs> Someone crying out, dear God. Dear okay. God. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan B for 1999. Thank you, Ethan. What are all these super chats? It's because I was gone Friday, I think, and people genuinely missed me. <laughs> oh my God, this fucking super chat. <laughs> Our Morbius and Madam Web, the film release equivalent of the guy in Requiem for a Dream screaming. <laughs> Jared hey. Leto is in both of those movies, so hey. yeah. <laughs> hey. As we call it back in the day. Um, our Morbius and Madam Web. Yeah, it kind of is the film equivalent of that, I would yeah. say. Uh, except for, you know, at least the audiences uh, in that little cage area, I think we're satisfied with the Yeah, outcome. those guys look like they, even though it was a horrifying thing, those guys were at least having fun. They looked like they were at least satisfied, whereas yeah. I don't think anybody in the audience, uh, granted, there was only about eight people at the uh, screener I was at, and um, two people got up and left halfway through. Ooh. Nobody was happy in that in that movie. I mean, Nobody I was, was happy in Madam Web, uh, but... yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that movie was absolute magic on the screen. I've never seen so many amazing shots in my life. Oh. Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Ethan. We'll get to the movie news eventually here, but these are so <laughs> Josh Carlos, 98, of course. 199 Super Chat. Better Tino film. I like <laughs> Better Tino. Django <laughs> spelled wrong. And Django bastards. or Bastards. Bastards like, is spelled wrong, but to be fair, it's spelled wrong in the actual title. So I just like how he calls him Tino. The best Quentin Tarantino film, Django Unchained or Inglorious Bastards, is what he is shorthanding. Uh, I like Bastards more. I'm going to go with Django, to be honest with you, but really? I, I really like both of them. Um, Jamie Foxx was, was really good. And uh, who's the main, who's the dude, the, uh, oh God, I always forget his name. He was a Bond villain. Christoph Waltz. He's yeah, Christoph Waltz. Him. Thank you. I always forget his name. He yeah, was so good in it. And then, of course, you have a uh, freaking Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. breaking breaking skulls and and cutting up his hand was in that, real time. Was Django? Oh yeah, Django was when he got a new editor because his previous editor like fell off a cliff and died. Uh, but yeah, oh, wow. Tarantino's like movies like after that editor died, something's just been off for yeah, me with them. I, it's so funny you say that. I was yeah. having this conversation with someone else who said the exact same thing. And maybe it was myself in a mirror because I don't have any other friends, but I'm pretty sure someone else, oh, it was my buddy DJ Bless. He said yeah. um, he said that once the editor changed, it's got, and I agree with him, yeah. uh, once upon a time in Hollywood is so freaking long. Yeah, and I just, um, it, it did not jive with me at all. Yeah, Sally Mank, she was like a, she edited all his films for Reservoir Dogs. She hmm. like was a co-editor on Ninja Turtles, the first one. Okay. Uh, she was a very talented editor. And then she, fell off a cliff and died her dog survived but she died and uh that was a bummer speaking of uh well you said editor but a producer um you know who produced avatar who kathleen kennedy oh the the m night one kk yep the m night mm -hmm. kathleen's but kathleen strikes again <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine there's got to be a thumbnail or something I can do to be outraged about that. I'm still not over what she did to Avatar. 
Well, I mean, this goes back. Remember Laura Dern in Jurassic Park had that women inherit the earth line? I bet you that was Kathleen Kennedy. She produced that movie. Kathleen all over that. She she was like, Laura, say this line. I'm going to force them to keep it in the movie. The dinosaurs are female. Psycho Psycho Jet Black for $2. Thank you, Psycho Jet Black. Tony, say 10 reasons why Godzilla minus fun is great. He says, Okay, okay, okay. 10 reasons why Godzilla minus one is great. That's what he told me to say. Oh, that's some fun wordplay. That's some fun wordplay. If you want to know what I think, I have an episode with Adam on my Castilla versus the Pod Monster channel. That's right. We did a video on that. We got to get into the news. Don't make me list 10 (laughs) things, you assholes. (laughs) This just in. One more super chat, and then we'll go to the news. Uh, Logan Wolf for 1193. Such an awesomely specific number. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> Blue eyed samurai, strong female character, and near perfect. Someone else, maybe it was Logan. I've heard of near perfect. Yeah, I maybe Logan was pitching this um, in my comments somewhere else because someone mentioned Blue eyed samurai. Maybe it was Logan. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is it a show? Blue eyed samurai. Is it a movie? It looks like it's a show. I'm doing research in real time. Why does Near Perfect sound familiar? Uh, Brenda Brenda Song. I know her. She was from like old Disney shit. That's Macaulay Culkin's wife. My good friend Macaulay Culkin. That's, That's true. Is not he go by Mac? I'm sorry. Yes, my good friend Mac. Who I'm yeah, definitely okay, good wow. friends with. Yeah, wow. Um, okay, this is a... Uh, it's on Netflix. So maybe check out Blue-Eyed Samurai. I wonder if my son has seen this. Connor watches everything anime. I'm going to ask him if he watched that one. Uh, and if he hasn't, we'll check it out. Okay. Thank you for the super chats, guys. Keep them coming while we do the movie news, and we will get to the rest afterwards. Right. Let's jump into this, Tony. We don't have all freaking night. Yep. I mean, maybe maybe you do, but that's okay. I gotta drive five hours to Boston tomorrow. <laughs> so. Oh my god, why? I'm gonna go see the Evil Dead musical on Friday. Oh, that's fun. But I was like, every time I've been to Boston, I've been stuck at the convention center. I'm like, oh, let me walk around in the freezing cold for a few days. That'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be nice. Thanks for the and I just And okay, I just, let's go to the movie news. I just reviewed the movie Soul Man, which takes place in Boston. So I want to visit the locations. <laughs> that Soul Man's been, you've been, ta- <laughs> you've been hyping that review up for like four months now. A- Adam, people are saying it's the funniest review I've ever done. Oh, that, I haven't watched it yet. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> you should check it out. Um, anyway. I'm really, first things first, I'm the realist. Look at this disgusting lack of responsive going on here. Um, <laughs> as a web designer and front-end developer, nothing yeah. chaps my ass more than seeing a lack of padding. If you yeah. see where my arrow, my cursor's at, yeah. no padding on the side here at all. Everything is just Ooh. smashed up. It's disgusting, and I hate it. Okay, Dune Part Two reviews are in. Okay, Tony, I assume you got a sneak. You got to go to the premiere red carpet. <laughs> Uh, no, but I mean, I have read the book and I watched the previous two film interpretations of the movie. So I kind of know what to expect in the upcoming film. And if they pull it off, I can imagine it being very good. Did you like part one? I did. Um, actually I did a whole episode on what is the best Dune movie so far. Mm. The sci-fi miniseries is the most accurate, but it's, it's definitely limited by budget. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the uh, the last movie, I didn't like all the changes they made, but I think it was the most loyal that also looked the best, too. So, Fair. But I mean, honestly, they're all enjoyable to some degree, so. Books worth reading, I imagine? Is it yeah, one book I, or two? some people really struggle with the book. I really, so I went on a whole thing. I read the book, and then I binged all three movies, like, within two weeks. Wow. Uh, so I learned a lot about Dune. Apparently, I want to read the other books, at least the ones written by Frank Herbert before he died, his sons took over. Okay. Uh, Because apparently they get, like, fucking weird. People are turning into worms and shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just one book, though, Dune? It's a series of books, but the these two movies are just based off the first book. Is it called Dune or is it called yes, like yes. the first one's just called Frank Snakes and, and yeah and no drama no it's just called okay. Frank Herbert's Dune. Uh, well that's what I usually I'm annoyed when they break a movie in half for yeah. a book. Uh, but people have always said like yeah it's kind of hard to squeeze all that into one movie. Right. So you either have like the original Dune, which was just butchered by the producers and like shrunk down. 
or you have the mini series, which is like six hours talking, long. Is that about the Patrick Stewart dune? Yes, yes. Patrick uh, Stewart, who just doesn't age. He's always yeah. 75 years old. He's always had a receding. He's always had like no hair. It's just amazing. Yeah. The guy is um, awesome. But no, the last one was pretty good. And I like that they used how like the spice you can see into possible futures. Mm -hmm. So they made it in a way where they're like, shit, if this movie bombs, we're not going to make a sequel. So let's have them have dream sequences of what you would have seen in the sequel. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it was uh, it was dicey for a while because COVID was pretty uh, raging yeah. pretty hard still. Yeah. I remember, and this came out on uh, the artist formerly known as HBO Max around yeah. the same time as the theatrical release. It might have been like day and date. Yeah. Um, okay. The, I, I really like Dune also. I did yeah. see that in theaters. I remember like everybody in the theater was masked up and like scared of each other, but also the people in the movie, in the movie had masks on. So it was kind of yeah. like we were all together, uh, in the spice world. Yeah. Uh, I'm rewatching it with Lindsay right now. Cause she hasn't seen it. Yeah. And, um, I gotta tell you, it's, it's definitely, it's not as exciting as it was on the big ass screen with the, um, you know, the, the, the sound and yeah. the visuals I'm watching it in bed at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> it's yeah. just not, I, it's um, not hitting the same. I, I um, watch it on my like big TV and I got the 4k Blu-ray. So oh, that's how I saw it. I didn't yeah, get to see it in right. theaters. You're I didn't get to see right. it in theaters, but um, yeah, it's a movie I've been rewatching a lot because I'm just like, I guess because it was based off a book that's very detailed, they were able to like, storyboard the visual effect it has some of the best visual effects i've seen in a big budget sci-fi movie in yeah. forever there's nothing in that movie that looks like distractingly bad no it's it, it's fantastic yeah okay so here's what people are saying about the sequel okay. dune part two is a masterpiece maybe one of the best space films ever besides being the most visually impressive movie i've seen an assault on all the senses it's a riveting political thriller and character study the cast is great, but Rebecca Ferguson and Austin Butler steal it. We love our Rebecca Ferguson here on the I channel. Do. Big Rebecca fan. And, and knowing what her character like does and what. No, don't Rebecca you, do. don't you dare. I'm don't not gonna you spoil dare. it. Don't I'm you even excited. say a thing. Tony, don't you say a thing. I do want to see Austin Butler because that was my issue with the first one. Because like Fade Ratha is like a big character and he's mm -hmm. just not in the first one. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, huh. He in the book he was present for a lot of this, so I hear he like does a great job in the one. He's uh he's the character Sting played in the original with the little oh, metal speedo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. who he's playing. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know how to say this director's name? Adel Dennis Villeneuve is how I was told to say Villeneuve. It, but, but every time I say it on the show, I go Villeneuve. I just mumble. Denny Villeneuve. Yeah, Denny Villeneuve. <laughs> Flavin? Uh, Flavin? <laughs> In All right, four. <laughs> In the opinion of Total Films, Emily Murray, Dune Ooh. Part 2 is Villeneuve Magnum <laughs> Opus. All right. It's a magnum opus. The com uh, and commended Chalamet and Zendaya in particular. Mm. You say Zendaya or Zendaya? Uh, I don't care. Zendaya. I say the, I say the girl, the girl from Spider Man, the girl who ruined Lola Bunny. That's what I call her. And there it is. And there it is. <laughs> you know, I have yet to see Zendaya in a movie where I'm like, oh my god, Zendaya is phenomenal in this. She's just yeah. praised up and down the block, and I yeah, I've. I don't get yeah, it. I mean, even her is even her is shiny. I was just like, eh. yeah, yeah. The, gr the girl in the made for TV, the girl that made for TV, Dune, shiny. That girl had huge boobs. There's an uncensored <laughs> version of that mini series, and I was like, God damn! And then you see Sendai, I'm like, nah, well, okay. And, that, and that's and that's that's what Tony's really looking for <laughs> in a in a in a strong uh, female woman. All right, the magnum opus remark is echoed in Griffin Schiller's. Go figure, his shill is in his name. Yeah. <laughs> who also called the film the definitive sci-fi epic of a generation. Guys. Why can't they just say it's pretty good? Like, don't go that far. Uh, no, no, no. It's got to be a <laughs> 10 or a 0 every time. Jordan <laughs> Farley of Total Film was blown away Ooh. by the sequel and drew comparisons to the Lord of the Rings. Okay, let's just everybody take a beat. <laughs> let's everybody pull it back about five notches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Farley added that Dune Part 2 has proper meat on the bone. Mm. 
what they didn't tell you is Farley was also eating an enjoyable steak dinner while they were interviewing <laughs> him. So it's very possible he was describing the meal and not the film. <laughs> New York Times, uh, Alyssa Wilkinson remarked, Denise Villeneuve does something so visually wild with Dune Part 2 that I've been thinking about it for days. Okay, I don't know. That's just vague enough to work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wildly exhilarating. I'm just picking out random words. Rich mythology, acting, and story. A perfect film! Oh! From Para. I don't know who Para is, but she loved this movie. A tour day force. It's been at least four months since I've heard a tour day force and Magnum. Wow! Opus. So, man, this is happening. Captivating. The heart Zendaya is the heart of the movie. Well, she's actually in it this time, not just yeah, bookending I just it. Remember so. she had those those blue eyes in the last one, and that was kind of all her all she did. Yeah, guys, there's not a bad uh, a bad note sung. Well, of, are they saying uh, anything them. about Florence Pugh? I'm guessing she has a very small role in this movie. Well, that okay, so that's the weird thing. Yeah, because that character has a very small wrong role. It's the Emperor's daughter, yeah, who's okay. played by Christopher Walken in this new one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, that was a good get. Uh, I think the last actor who played the Emperor was also an Italian dude. Anyway, um, so she has a very small role in the book, and she's mm -hmm. kind of treated like mm -hmm. shit. She kind of <laughs> becomes property at the end of that book. Oh, the mini series. I, this is late 90s. They were like, well, we got to make this character, like, we got to give her something. So now she's, like, helping the good guys. I'm assuming this movie's going to go down that role. Sure. Because they don't want the movie to end, like, I don't really love you and you're my property. I'm the good guy. They're like, well, we can't end a movie like that. So I think she's going to be helping uh, Paul in this new film. Sure. Yeah. All I know is if I go to this movie and it's anything less than perfection, <laughs> if it's not a magnum opus or a tour de force... I'm going to each one of these people's houses and I'm smacking them across the face. I'm yeah. going to say, shame on you. Shame yeah. on you for loosely I'm using just, those words. I'm really excited because there's some cool stuff in the second half of that book. So. I'm excited because I don't know shit about it. I yeah. saw the original movie when I was a kid. All yeah. I remember was the goofy battles. They, they The sparring yeah. did with the weird shields. Wah, 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 yeah, that kinda, effect didn't age well. Didn't age well. Um, didn't I age will well. say... If you ever want to revisit that, so David Lynch will never do a director's cut because he was so miserable on that film because okay. the producers treat him like shit. So fans on YouTube, they've taken like the extended TV cut and deleted scenes and they've like got the original script and they've edited it to be like how it should have been. Oh. And it's just, it's just on YouTube. It's actually, it's long, but it's a, I mean, it's still, still got some goofy shit in there. It's still not perfect, but it's a way better experience than the theatrical cut. It's so funny when, the no. fans do that. Do you remember when was it Topher Grace who was going through and like editing movies yeah. willy nilly? He yeah. did like the Star Wars prequels and he condensed them down to one movie. Yeah, he did have like the Hobbit. The, yeah, the Hobbit. He made one movie. Those That's... those I don't enjoy so much. I like it when it's like a director who was robbed of his vision and mm -hmm. they're able to get pieces and kind of like assemble what it should have looked like. Uh, they've done yeah, that. You're, with, a, like... you're a you're a notorious Zack Snyder fan. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the no, there've been some other like. And, uh, um, I imagine you're just every day you're waiting for Rebel Moon to come out the director's cut. You cannot, <laughs> no. You're salivating over No, it. because now they're manufacturing it. Now yeah. it's like, oh, by the yeah. way, there's a director's cut. If you guys want it. It's like, no, I don't really want it. Um, but Rebel yeah, Moon no, comes no. out next week. But before I finish, I just want you to know I have three different versions of this movie. Some of them are eight hours long. Those are the ones Netflix won't let me release right now. But that's the best version. Uh, so just for your fans, I just want to get the name of that cut spice miner yeah please do that's i think that's really important yes dune uh it's called the spice driver fan edit and it is just on youtube <laughs> it's Amazing. three hours of uh proper dune uh speaking of proper dune mm -hmm. let's yeah. get into this small little fun article it's kind of been making the rounds lately Let's see if i can oh. do it properly oh. so apparently dune has a popcorn bucket snl has already made a video making fun of it oh what do we Tony, is that is that it? Look, at I that. got as soon as I. So uh, my friend also bought one. And yeah. he told me he's like, oh, I got the Doom popcorn bucket. I'm like, oh, is that a Regal thing? He goes, no, that's an AMC. And I was like, 
oh my god i have to go to my theater right i'm like so i i got my ticket for madam web and i went up to the thing and i'm like one june popcorn bucket for me thank you my lady and then i spent valentine's day watching madam web by myself with the popcorn bucket and then i went to the bar by myself some friends just happened to be there eventually uh with the popcorn bucket so i could take goofy pictures uh, so my friend had to finally ask what it was and I finally told everyone at the bar and they, the people who were just looking at me with this thing, they, from like the other side of the bar, they all thought I brought an urn. So oh. they thought, so they thought like, wow, this guy's having a really bad Valentine's oh. Day. He brought a dead person <laughs> to the bar. And uh, I was like, yeah, apparently my, my last girlfriend, she was a big girl. So they couldn't fit her ashes in the regular You should have been like, <laughs> I'll take uh, I'll take two drinks. Oh, are you meeting someone here? Well, my wife is right here next to me. And then just set her on the bar. Uh, it's on the I, house, buddy. It's on I the did, house. I, I posted a picture. I'm like, here with my date. And then my friend, uh, Lauren, she took a picture of her like making out with it. I'm like, oh, no, I got cucked on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's see the front of the, of the top of that thing. Here's the problem. It doesn't look like the worm from the movie. Like its lips are too wide. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a butthole, kind of. I mean, the one in the movie um, did kind of look like a butthole. Yeah. In parts. Yeah. It kind of looks like the dune worm. The problem is the dune worm's not like an aesthetically pleasing thing that you want to look at. It's Especially just... this version of the yeah. dune worm. The other yeah. ones, maybe. So the, the website I had up said it looks like a sex toy. And all I'm thinking is what kind of saw contraption sex toy are people <laughs> using? Because that does not look is like anything. Is this going to get your I channel wanna... flagged, me using the popcorn bucket? I, I really don't know. I don't. Well, it depends on what you're going to do with the popcorn By the way, bucket. it's a terrible pop. It like sticks to you and it like. Yeah. The popcorn, like you have to like pull it out of the teeth. This, this was clearly just a marketing ploy, right? They had everything ready to go. It's yeah. like that thing was announced and Saturday Night Live had its skit ready and everything yeah, was a, just um, so perfect. There's executed. a pretty funny video of the actors being horrified by it. Like I saw were, that. Yeah, as, I saw like that. that. Yeah. But that's what makes me think like, okay, this feels like a manufactured kind of Barbenheimer thing on yeah. purpose this time. But uh, I'm glad you got one. I only have Regal Theater. <laughs> the top comes off? Yeah. Oh, so how else it, are you going to get the popcorn in it? Is it dishwasher certified? I mean, can you put it in the dishwasher? I mean, I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I suppose it's, is it rubber? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, well, I would, the, yeah. The, the teeth are rubber. That's why it hurt. It like sticks to you and shit. The rest yeah. is hard plastic. Uh, and it's just a regular popcorn buck says Dune part two only in theaters with the what little is, house. Uh, what the is house one of those? Room. What is one of those plastic uh, things run you? Oh God, I forget. I honestly forget how much I paid. Thirty for this. bucks. Thirty bucks. It was in, yeah. I want to say it was in that range. Okay, but that's something you have forever now. You have a keepsake forever of Dune. Well, 2. I got to review Dune two when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need the Dune two popcorn bucket. <laughs> it's really sad they didn't have any sort of Madam Web popcorn bucket. Just they were they were like, wait a minute. Oh, it's just uh, a, a shit movie emoji. With, like, it's just a shit emoji. It's just a smoldering pile of, of no. Rubble. I think I think they were smart. They were like, "All right, so we have a movie with like the hottest women in the world, and the other film is selling a sex toy." Oh, that's fine. They, these uh, two will help I each other out. <laughs> I see what you're thinking. Okay, that was the mindset was there. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's do a couple more super chats before we jump to our next because it's not Dune rated. We're done with Dune. Done like, with we're, Dune. We're Dune with we're Dune with Dune. <laughs> Logan Wolf is back for 1462. Thank you, Logan. Riding a sandworm is now the only way I can reach. <laughs> I, I screwed it up. Riding a sandworm is now the only way I can achieve climax. He says reach, <laughs> but it's achieve. That's what I usually say for my yeah. joke. Um, thank you, Logan. I agree. Uh, Tony, the only way Tony can is with that uh, with that <laughs> worm. The worm, which is technically bucket. riding a sandworm. So. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my friend is just like, oh my god, you're gonna put your dick in there. I'm like, I like that. I'm like, I'm like, I like you have confidence in me that my dick is that wide. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it just needs to get into that center spot. If anything, it needs to be. If anything, it needs to be razor thin so that it's yeah. kind of like, it's kind of like the uh, what was the game Operation where you have to grab the items and pull them out without. Touching oh, I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of actual sex toys, but yeah, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Children's sure, game. Yeah. <laughs> right, we can do that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm an I'm an innocent father of two, Tony. I don't have time for any of the shenanigans. <laughs> I did a brain deal for one, so. <laughs> oh my God, CP's 
199 super chat. Yeah. You the man, Adam. Thank you, CP. Tony, you'll notice you were not mentioned in the super chat. So. You know what? That's fine. I went to that wrestling show the other night and a guy recognized me, but not Crystal. And it made me feel really good. Okay. I saw the <laughs> funniest video. You you put it out right before I went live. I saw it on the artist form oh, on Twitter. The, the Statue the, of there Liberty? Was like, no, there was like some women wrestling oh, in yeah. bikinis. And yeah. I mean, honestly, it kind of looked a little bit Requiem for a Dream esque. <laughs> there was a bunch of dudes around, and then there was yeah. like three women so wrestling. In between, in between the wrestling shows, they had exotic dancers. People were throwing money. I didn't know that. By the way, I checked today that Crystal sent me. I didn't know she filmed that. So yeah, it's these girls like dancing, shaking their butts. Everyone's throwing dollar bills, and then Crystal pants the camera. I'm like all the way behind the wall, just like with the scariest face. On. Yeah, all these guys were like, yeah, 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 and then the camera just randomly shifts over by a bunch of guys, and Tony's in the way back. He's just. <laughs> he just looks he looks miserable i was waiting for that bomb bomb because i couldn't really see i couldn't really see yeah. them so that's why i'm like <laughs> it, it was very funny i laughed i laughed thank you uh logan's back again baby <laughs> 817 did tony get extra butter with his bucket no comment yeah, he probably <laughs> provided his own later in the film <laughs> We'll leave it. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Next on the news, because we were talking about news at yeah. one point in time. Oh. We have, oh, look at her. Kate Blanchett stuns in first look at inevitably bad Borderlands movie. What kind of a disgusting gizmodo what kind of a gross title I'm, is that? I'm so annoyed with like film what journalism that, right shit? now. Yeah, what like, is like, that? Like, I, you know what? I used to like read a lot of slash film, yeah. and then they started like just putting their opinions in stuff. I'm like, that's weird. I'm like, that's fine if it was like an opinion piece, but this feels like just like a news piece. Cheryl Eddy is the uh, publisher, she just decided this movie sucks before it's even, yeah. Out. I'm just like, huh, that's, that's weird. It's weird, weirdly aggressive. But real talk, I did not look at this headline. I just I, I went to this and I scanned down for photos. And I'm like, okay, this has the photos. Yeah. I'm seeing this for the first time, and that's kind of shitty. But uh let's see. We now have our best look yet at Oscar winner as Lilith in Ellie Roth's long Eli. What did I say Ellie? Sorry, Eli yeah. Roth. I'm at <laughs> Eli. I can't read and think at the same time. <laughs> I actually saw Eli Roth at uh, Megacon. Oh, really? Yeah, my buddy uh, Cody got his uh, signed autograph, got his photo taken, and yeah. uh, Joey from The Circle, the Netflix reality Ooh. show, winner of The Circle, he was there, and he talked with Eli Roth to get on the phone with his agent to see if he could be in his next movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, it's Joey, uh, you know, from this, I work with this company, and Eli Roth's probably like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's. So, okay. So, if you don't know, Borderlands is a series of video games. Came out, I think, Xbox 360. Mm. Don't quote me. It's one of the earlier versions of Xbox, PlayStation. Yeah. They might have tried putting one on the sad Wii or the Wii U at one point in time, and everybody laughed at it. Um, I remember when the game was announced. It's a first person looter shooter okay. multiplayer kind of a situation. And I remember when the game first came out, it had very generic graphics. And so like late in the game cycle, they threw a Hail Mary and decided to do a cell shading remake look to it before yeah. the game launched. And it really worked out. People loved it. The game went on to massive, massive success. Mm -hmm. They did like a Telltale series, choose your own adventure style version of the game. Um, and they announced this. They announced this movie. I swear, four or five years ago. At this I remember. Point. I remember it being announced. I never played the games. I remember yeah. seeing like the art style. Like I think one of the covers, the guy like he's pretending to shoot his brains out, and it's all color. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. That's one of the sequels. Um, um, this I played. I played one of the games for like an hour, but it's really not very fun by yourself. It really is a game that's so much more uh, enhanced with multiplayer. But by the time I played it, everybody was moved past it. It was like a free game at some point on PlayStation. Gotcha. Anyway, the, the cast was announced a long time ago. And I remember when they said Kate Blanchett was going to be Lilith. Mm. A lot of people were like, really? Lilith is quite a bit younger than this actress. Um, and I like Kate Blanchett. And I thought, you know what? I bet she can do it. I bet she can pull it off. And seeing her here, by God, she's doing it. She looks like Lilith. I think this is a good choice um not saying they couldn't have found someone a lot closer to the looks yeah. of lilith but 
Blanchett's a good actress, so I'm I'm cool with this. Um, I have nothing to compare it to, so I'm just gonna have to trust your judgment. You're always right about everything. Everything, yes. Yes. <laughs> Tony, let's see if uh you're familiar with posters or movie covers. What does this remind you of? Do you know another movie that has a poster similar to this? Oh fuck, there's let me there's let a, me let me Google it. There's a few. I'm gonna Google it to see if I'm yep, that, that's exactly I think there's what one I, was I know for. like Four Brothers has a poster kind of like that. Um the one that comes to mind, and of course now I'm not able to bring up a large version. Come on. Give me give me there. Give me there. Google images, you are fucking me right now. <laughs> um the answer is holes. If you remember the movie holes. Oh, I reviewed that Shia last year and that yeah, I reviewed that last year and the episode didn't do well. Oh, well, that's sad. Here, I'll just share yeah. this, even though it's like a, a hodgepodge of posters. But this guy, look at that. Oh, okay. It's the, it's the same damn, it's the same damn cover. I don't know if it's an homage that they're randomly doing to holes mm. or, you know, what's going on here. But it's the, uh, look at it. It's the same thing. It's the same yeah. thing. Uh, anyway, uh, cool, cool photo regardless. Yeah. But we have Cape Blanchett. We got Kevin Hart. Everybody loves Kevin Hart, right? Oh, Look, yeah. Lift. It was Hart. great. I love Lift. Lift. I can't believe you watch Lift after. <laughs> Tony, it's February and I had nothing to talk about on the channel. And I, I pulled up Netflix to see what was trending. And there it was. Fucking Lift. And I was Hart. right. It looks like a fake movie. It, it's, it's a fake stupid. ass movie. That movie sucked. You I can't. Right. I can't wait till someone leaks that Netflix is using like AI generated scripts because that felt like that and Fubar felt exactly oh, the same. Like this I, doesn't feel like it was yeah. written by a human. Very weird. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we have Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, who everybody loves for real. He's mm. going to be Claptrap, which is the CG smart ass robot. That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who Ariana Greenblatt is. It's probably what the, who, who the kids are into, but I don't know her. Mm um and jamie lee curtis i love jamie lee curtis so it's cool to see her this is the cast photo this is pretty I cool i mean that that looks like some of the stuff i've seen from the games so oh ariana greenblatt she's like in everything right now she was in really? barbie she was I in 65 in. she's the young uh, oh, oh she she's... was the she was the bitchy teenager in barbie yeah. Oh, okay. she, she was the mute girl in 65. She's the young Gamora in Avengers Infinity War in that flashback. So she's like up and coming. They're putting her in a bunch of stuff. You know, to her credit, I thought yeah. she was adorable and super likable in 65. And I couldn't yeah. stand her in Barbie. So she is a good actress. She was <laughs> able to play two complete yeah. characters. I think she's also in, I didn't watch it, Ahsoka. I think she's like young Ahsoka. But I gave up on Star Wars. Yeah, I, did, I didn't so. even bother watching that one. I'm so sick of the Disney Plus trash. Oh man, I can't. I can't. I'm so happy. Like 2018, everyone 2019. Like Tony, you're stupid for not like a Mandalorian. I'm like, enjoy Lizzo, you fucks. I'm glad. I'm so glad this is what you wanted. <laughs> if um, I liked Mandalorian season one and two a lot, but <laughs> I, I hate watched season three, and I reviewed every <laughs> single episode, and just it's just me bitching for like 25 minutes. <laughs> how bad that show was. I'm but so got, ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, you were ahead of the curve. We did have two good seasons, though. I mean, that's kind of like saying Thor 3 or Thor Ragnarok is a waste because they're going to ruin it with Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> Thor, Thor Ragnarok's still great. No. Uh, okay. So, Borderlands, I don't really know what to say. Eli Roth is not a director that I'm, I'm like fond of. I like well, Cabin Fever, I really enjoyed. I hate the hostile movies. And I, I used I really liked Thanksgiving, actually. Thanksgiving, oh, yeah, we, that was great. We reviewed that, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I used to really not like his movies, but I actually really like him. I think I might have mentioned this at Thanksgiving. Yeah. He has, like, a show where he talks about, like, uh, old movies. He was on Joe Bob's show talking about, like, the history of, like, uh, some movies. I'm like, wow, he's really knowledgeable, and I love hearing him talk about movies. I just wish I liked his actual movies more. Although I did enjoy Thanksgiving, so I'm excited. I want to go back and check some things that I missed. Yeah, I'm him. looking at the stuff that I missed, and I saw some of these, and I hated them. Uh, knock, knock, the Keanu Reeves one. Did he actually direct that? Um, oh, so this I is saw what, a little bit. That was one Google's I showing me. I didn't catch most of that. Uh, you I probably heard... just saw the Ana Dermas clips. <laughs> this is a good movie. Uh, the house with the clock in the walls was really bad. That was a yeah. Jack Black flick. 
Well, he's in this. Yeah, that's his boy. <clears throat> but sometimes you never know if Google's yeah. putting up just the produced movies or if it's the actual director. Yeah. So I heard anything right now. I heard the Death Wish remake with uh, Bruce Willis was really good. I heard mixed things on that, but yeah, either way, Eli but, Roth has kind of been winning me over with the Thanksgiving. I thought he did a really good job on. Yeah. So we'll see what we'll see. You know what? what? This is a very interesting movie for him to tackle based on just the stuff he's done in the past. By the way, I just got to ask a hypothetical, please. He from what from what I think, I think he was originally supposed to direct the Meg, but got fired from it. What, what do you think you would have liked the Meg more if Eli Roth directed it? Do you think it would have been so good? It's so good, bro. Would it be so good, bro? The first Meg he was supposed to do? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think he, I think he would have done a way better job. I don't think we would have got the schlocky, you know, over the top. Listen, I know yeah. the Meg is a it's a megalodon. It's a giant fucking prehistoric yeah. shark. It's going to be silly no matter what you do. But that doesn't mean you can't make it more horror infused. And I yeah. think Eli Roth could have actually done something pretty. I mean, you've probably seen some of those crazy AI generated videos or videos just maybe done by actual animators. I don't know anymore, mm. but they're of a megalodon. So you just see like the huge meg fin yeah. go next to like a, a, a cruiser and then just go, she takes the whole thing out. <laughs> and just the way it's shot and the feel you get is, is very creepy. And yeah. I never got that one time in the nope. Meg movies. It's always just silly, dumb it been, crap. It would have been interesting. Yeah, he was he was on Joe Bob's show and he danced around it. He's like, and then I stopped working on this movie and I was like, what movie? Mm. Why, why didn't he say what? And then I looked it up like, oh yeah, he like walked off the Meg or something. Interesting. So, so he has a he has a movie listed called Finn. Where did oh, go? you think he's going to like, I well, didn't get to make that movie. Let me I do think this. it already came out. It was called Finn. Hour 40. Eli Roth and a professional group of scientists, researchers, and activists sail around the globe to unveil the truth behind the death of millions of sharks. Oh, it's a it's documentary. A docu it's a documentary horror. Oh. Huh. I'm that would be worth that. checking out. It came out in 2021. Huh. I totally, he, I totally missed that. Maybe he was researching for the Meg. <laughs> Well, he got he got like a way before that, but yeah. like like James Cameron, how he goes <laughs> exploring so that he can invent new cameras for Avatar thirty five. Do you think he's gonna eventually remake Titanic based on the new knowledge of how it sank? He's like, I have to do it again. I have to do it again. It's out of date. It actually didn't split in half above water. It happened underwater. I need to do it again. It's like lost. We have to go back. We, we have, have to go to back. Go and they're like, James, no, you already but the, did it. But Tony, he does everything scientifically and historically accurate the next time, but he <laughs> makes the door even smaller. That <laughs> so that's all anybody cares about. They're like, fuck yeah. you, James Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, next piece of news here. Just a couple left. Well, well, here, here, one of these things gets it up. Okay. Oh no! Guys, this is with a heavy heart, like scar on the top of Pride Rock. I have oh. to announce, Madame Web flops at the box office. Oh, the Spider-Man adjacent Sony movie starring Dakota Johnson has been wildly pan, a oh, widely pan. This is I just who could have saw it coming. I don't get it because there were articles for years about how everyone wants women superhero films <laughs> and then they come out and then I'm confused. Why don't people go see them? Like, why did the Marvels buy? I thought that's what everyone wanted. I I actually brought up the the secret, the, the truth here. This is a secret that guys for mm -hmm. some reason don't want to admit. And maybe okay. I guess the general population. Men are perverts. And okay. we will go see movies if women look hot and are dressed stupidly uh, sexy. Yeah. But we're not into movies where women are dressed in a lot of clothing and they're doing <laughs> a lot of lame stuff and the movie has the worst script imaginable. So you have to at least give us one of those options. Just one of them. Uh, you look well, at well, like a comic blonde and Adam, had all the pieces in place. Adam, we shouldn't worry about men. Women should be seeing this. Are you saying that superheroes might score better with a male audience instead of women? I only have, Come on, Adam. I only have anecdotal evidence, but you oh. couldn't drag my wife to the Marvels <laughs> or to um, whatever this was called, Madam Web. She had no interest. She'd rather swallow a gun than go to one of the movies. 
Women I, love women love sci-fi and action. That's why every time I go to Five Below, they have ro- mountains of Rose Ticos and Captain oh Marvel my toys. <laughs> like my wife's like, we're watching the Marvels, and she goes, "So is Thor in this at any point?" Yeah. Like, no, Thor's not in this, and she just gets up and leaves. She's done because like 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 you can get away with it. Like Wonder Woman was good, but like. Tony, like, had- Wonder Woman was good because Gal Gadot's hot, and she's <laughs> and in a too. she's in a ridiculous outfit. But That's also, why. like I'm thinking, like like Black Widow, they should have gave her her movie earlier. But like yeah. people would people saw that because they're like, oh well, I'm invested in this character because they were in all these other films. Uh, yeah, and Captain and Marvel, she's in a leather outfit. For <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then, and then even like Captain Marvel, people went and saw that because it was going to tie into Infinity War. Um, yeah. 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 And also Brie Larson's hot, and yeah. th- this is t- this is in between <laughs> the two biggest Marvel movies ever. So it's yeah. only up to go. The funniest part about all this is both that movie, the Marvel uh, Captain yeah. Marvel, and Aquaman one were yeah. like the highest grossing I films. Know. They're they're in the top three, I believe, for both MCU and DCEU at the time. Yeah. And both of their sequels were some of the worst. Uh, box office smashes of all time box office failures it's just wild the the timing of these movies and just the the Mm -hmm. the the mindset people have when they come out also like uh, i know madam webb kind of from the old cartoon she yeah. popped up here and there. I don't know much about her, but like she's always been an old lady in my mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was like an old blind woman, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, Dakota Johnson. I'm like, I'm like, look, I don't I don't think I've ever been like I never gotten like aroused looking at Madam Webb. So like, but you know, I've watched the Suspiria remake a bunch. I'm like, Dakota Johnson's pretty fine. Right. Never in my wildest dreams would I be like, yes, let's get Dakota Johnson for Madam Webb. Right. But, the old- but so, so if you look at it this way. Yeah. Madam Web has a horrible script. Yeah. It's got unlikable characters and it has a demographic that they don't even know. Like who is this yeah. movie even made for? So then yeah. you have Sydney Sweeney who's drop dead gorgeous and yeah. Dakota Johnson who's a very attractive woman too. All they had to do was put boobs on the poster and you probably <laughs> would have doubled your money. Well, look I'm at pretty- look just look at Sydney Sweeney in that stupid ass rom-com anyone but you. Yeah. She and Eight Pack McGee are on the poster, and that's all it takes for a lot of simpletons to go out to a movie. But Either then I, sex it up yeah. or have a classy script in an interesting like setup for people to want to go see. I'm pretty sure they were never going to show their outfits in the advertising, and it would just be right for the end of the movie, which they do a lot. But I'm yes. pretty sure they're like, yes. oh shit, like that's the only time they're wearing skin tight stuff. Yeah. We got to get them. We got to show those. Uh, but yeah, I'm real shocked that like none of my luck nuts came out to the film because Celeste O'Connor's in it. The best Ghostbusters ever. Lucky. <laughs> Where were all the luck nuts? Lucky. Because we, oh. we all know Ghostbusters Afterlife is great and everyone actually genuinely loves it and they weren't pretending to out of spite. Naturally, they would want to see Celeste O'Connor in other films because she's so memorable in Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is... It's it's too bad we don't live close, Tony, because this would be the greatest movie that you and I could do together. Two super fans of Ghostbusters Afterlife <laughs> reviewing the sequel. You guys that notoriously did not buy the hype or like yeah. the first movie much at all. Um, <laughs> I, I I will say I think the second this new one looks a lot better, um, mainly because it doesn't seem to be regurgitating everything from. Yeah. Before I mean, it's all- still going to be like the worst thing ever and I'm going to hate it, but it does look better than the last one. Although they still the. Can we get over the Stay Puft Marshmallow Babies? Why is that a thing? They're in the nothing, new movie again. Nothing else ever sold as well as that. Why do you think Slimer's back? No one they're gave like, a shit about the blue guy. Oh my god, they're like, hey, let's have our own version of the Minions or the Porgs. What can we do? Oh, baby Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Of well, course. It doesn't even make sense in the context of the story. That should never have shown up again after the first film, but nope, we gotta we gotta put Stay Puff Marshmallow Babies in there. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, we didn't even talk about what this made. So yeah, the film the film has so far grossed twenty five point eight million domestically. This is over its first, I think, we, the big weekend. So this is like a four day yeah. live. It came out on Valentine's Day, so it actually came out on a Wednesday. And yep. I think this runs it through Sunday. So we have Oof. we have five days. 
And after five days, every movie pretty much goes like this. It just depends on how much the dip is. Yeah. A movie like Madam Web is going to go straight down. Yep. Straight down. This thing's going to be lucky if it pulls in 40 million total. I mean, I tried yeah. to help. I was there. I was there, Adam. I the was there day board. one. Championing there, women. Day one. Championing women. One um, thing is, we pre- we went and saw the movie, and it was a movie we didn't even want to see. No. And no. everyone's all like, we need more female heroes. I'm like, I bet you didn't go out and watch some fucking Madam Web. It's just so, yeah, it's so bad. I um, <sighs> This movie's a bomb. It cost $80 million to make. Mm. And so typically you double that number, they say or close to double it for um, marketing yeah. and other expenses. So it needed to, it needs to drop at least 200 million in order to break even about um, yep. it's not going to get even close. <laughs> Tony, do you think speculation time? Uh, of course we have Craven coming out. I know you're craving that film. Uh... Uh, do, do you, th- and Venom three, uh, which will be, I'm sure not to use this term lightly, Tour de Force. <laughs> It'll be the Magnum Magnum Opus. Opus. <laughs> um, I actually, I actually don't buy the the Venom. Movie. They're, they're fine terrible. They're, they're terrible. Dumb. Bite they're your dumb tongue. fun. No, they're not even. Yeah. Fun. The second one is atrocious. No, I had that. fun with that. No, oh that scene, God. that scene where he's talking about how Eddie doesn't like him because he's an alien, but everyone in the crowd thinks he's a gay guy who's <laughs> complaining about a bigoted boyfriend. I like that scene is hilarious. <laughs> I just remember it was called Let There Be Carnage and they no, got no, no. married. No, no. So Venom breaks up from Eddie and he's jumping from body oh, yeah, body. He's going he like the this, raves. He's at the yeah, raves. Yeah, he goes this stuff. underground yeah. heart, the rave scene. He's like, Eddie's really mean to me. So they all assume he's a gay guy. And he's like, yeah. we should be nicer to aliens. And then it cuts to like a foreign girl like that. And I'm like, oh my yeah. God, they all think that he's, they think yeah. he's just a guy in a costume. I thought that yeah. was, a, I was, I was clapping at him. That was. <sighs> That was uh, what's his face? The guy who plays Smeagol. He directed it. That was his tour de force magnum opus. Andy Circus. Andy Circus. Yeah, he directed that. He should probably not be able to direct movies anymore. You know what, <laughs> you know what else he directed? The Mowgli movie Mowgli. that I didn't see. Yeah. Mowgli that came out a year after the Jungle Book did. Same exact movie. Well, they were gonna put it in theaters. Yeah, and then they were cool. like, they were like, ah, Disney kind of beat it. Let's shit it out on Netflix. I and heard it, it looked, was all right. It looked just like the Jungle Book. It looked like the same fucking movie. Well, Jungle Book, I believe, is a public domain book. So mm-hmm. anyone can kind of do it. And why have we not seen the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey team crafting a Jungle Book film? Where's that at? That I don't know. Mowgli's um, Revenge or something. Baloo. <laughs> you know, Baloo and Blood and Honey. We could do we could do a team up. Winnie the Pooh and Baloo <laughs> and Blood yeah. and Honey. Yeah, I, I'm really pissed off, by the way, about Blood and Honey being called Blood and Honey 2. They don't even have the fucking creativity to call it something like Winnie the Pooh, blood, sex, drugs, and honey. You know, wow. or something to, like, kind of make it even more fun. Yeah. It blood, honey, and sex. Blood, honey, and rock and roll. Something to just kind of keep adding to it. Yeah. Also, I was wrong. Uh, Mowgli is based off R- R- Rudyard Kipling's uh, All the Mowgli Stories. It's like a collection or something. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, oh no, maybe it is uh John yeah, you're, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. Uh yeah, so you kind of pour one out. It did worse than Morbius this first week, and oh. Morbius uh, 39 million dollar gross. It's not Morbin time, it's not Madamine time over nope. here, which is uh, a shame. yeah. So Venom 3 might do whatever. I don't think Craven's going to do well. I think they're making it rated R and that maybe that'll be their selling point, but Craven's going to bomb. It's yeah. going to do better than Mad Dumb Web, but I don't think it's going to do much better than Morbius. I think it'll be around the same. I'm just so fucking mad cuz he's my favorite Spider-Man villain, yeah, but I I'm don't want to see his solo movie without like god damn it. But Tony, it's an origin story. Just like the last four origin stories but we like, had in the Sony one... Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man. I'm sorry, maybe maybe I'm just out of date. I did watch the the cartoon recently, but it was like he was given like a magic plant that it heightened his sentences and stuff. And then I saw the trailer and I think a magic lion bites him. Like, what the fuck is this? What the is this? <laughs> it, well, okay, Madam Web, a spider bites her and she can see the future? What what are we doing here? I forgot to look up anything about Madam Web's yeah, origin. No, okay. So anyway. anyway. 
Um, do you think that this is the end of the Sony non Spider Man Spider Man pretend universe? Um, after Venom? Only, I, do, I, think, I do think Venom Three is going to make a lot of money because these Venom yeah. movies are. They, they, people are still tricked into thinking that Venom and Spider Man are kind of the same, and yeah. that somehow Venom is part of the MCU. <laughs> they <laughs> liked they liked Venom enough to give him a cameo in No Way Home and to give the the Asian lady from the movies a cameo in the Spider-Verse cartoon. No, that, that was, so, they didn't like him. I guarantee you Sony is like, dude. Oh, that's what I meant. Disney, Sony liked it. Sony please, liked it. Enough. Disney, can we please have a cameo in your movie? In the so, and Disney's like, oh, oh, okay, you stupid <laughs> asshole. We'll put you in the no, no. Theater, oh. but even But even Spider-Verse, like the spot dips into the Venom universe for a second. Um, I think they might stick with Venom if the third one does well, but uh, I think going forward, they're probably just going to be focused on animated movies. Like this, they're going to continue that whole Spider Verse. I, I hope That's, so. I hope Spider so. Spider Verse and Venom are the only thing they have actually working at the moment outside of the Disney stuff. So. And it's working so well that other Good. studios are starting to follow suit. You have yes. that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Mute Mayhem, which I yeah. really enjoyed a lot. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it too. I hope it did well enough to get a sequel. I, I, haven't, really, I haven't heard much about it, but uh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And I know, Tony, you're super jazzed about our next story of the, the last two we have. Concept Ooh. art for an animated Batman Beyond movie pitch is extremely shway. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that, that, that was something? oh yeah. You haven't watched Batman Beyond. I haven't seen Batman one. Beyond. No, it, oh, it, it so didn't it, look great to me, honestly. It was I actually pretty fun. So it was yeah. in the future. Um, and like in the future, instead of cool, people said shway. Shway. Okay. Yeah, you know what? It was their fetch. Oh, uh, it was kind of like uh, yeah. in Futurama how Amy would always say like "guh" in other in other yeah. cool slangs. So it, it was there. It was just a word for cool. Like, hey, that's cool. Hey, that's shway. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some cool nerd cred here, but I never thought Batman Beyond looked good. I, I didn't really care for the really pointy aesthetic of everything. Well, that, yeah, they, they I were was going an animated. I was an animated series purist. I like yeah. Batman animated series. So well, remember the animated the animated series? They did that visual overhaul in the last season. Which uh, I don't know if I ever saw. It. Was that the thing where they made everything a lot more cartoonish looking? And yeah, I think they they wanted it to match the Superman series they were doing, and also I think they wanted to kind of get freed from the Tim Burton stuff. So, like in the last season, the Penguin looks like classic comic book Penguin, which is how he should have always looked because he acted like classic comic book Penguin, but he looked like fucking Danny DeVito, which is a very different Penguin. Uh, so yeah, they did. I didn't mind the whole visual overhaul thing, but sure. that's where they were going. But no, Batman Beyond was actually a lot of fun. I'd say give well, it a chance. You might be you might be excited. Um, you may be yeah. excited because five months ago, Patrick Harpin walked into Warner Brothers Pictures DC mm -hmm. official and pitched a Batman Beyond animated feature. Yeah, he said before they pitched it, they said there's no way they can do a Beyond movie, but they love the enthusiasm. Fast forward. They pitched an outline for the entire film and now it never turned into a maybe. So we might have a potential Batman Beyond film. So, I mean, obviously, I think they probably said never because they were basically going to ruin this idea by making Batgirl the Batman Beyond because sure. Michael Keaton was right. in it. Right. And it's like, no one, people want to see a Batgirl movie, but not as a, they don't want Batgirl to be a replacement for Batman. No one wants mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. They want her to be a sidekick or just her own thing. Right. Um, no one wants her like, I'll fill in the, like, no, we don't want that. Shut up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Batman Beyond, I can see why they didn't want to do a movie. They should just do an animated one. I mean, DC puts out a ton of animated movies. Uh, other than Lego Batman movie, they haven't done like a big screen one. So they should try to do one to try to compete yeah. with Spider-Verse. Do you remember, uh, and we don't have to go into the whole thing here, but do you remember why Lego Batman 2 like fell apart? I know there was an actual reason. Because I don't remember because I think Warner Brothers stopped doing Legos. Is so. that just all it came down to? I know that the first Lego Batman movie did big numbers 
Yeah. And they had an idea for the second movie and it, it just fell apart. And I'm not sure why. I think uh, like after that last, like the Ninjago one, I think they stopped making them. I but Ninjago I don't know. It wasn't good. I, I like don't. I never saw the second Lego movie, and I really love the first oh, the, one. The second Lego movie is terrible. Uh, I um, my kids hated that movie. It's kind of like a quasi musical too at, at points. It's just weird. Uh, now I don't know why they scrapped all the Lego stuff. I'm sure there's a reason. It probably it was like an agreement and it expired or something. Anyway, but, um, this. These screen grabs, this art is fantastic. So, I mean, if yeah. this is the style they're going for, very modernized, yeah. it definitely has an Into the Spider-Verse stank to it, that 3D, 2D yeah. blend that's just perfect. You, you know what, Adam? This is what I want you to do. Please. I want you to watch, like, the pilot episode of Batman Beyond and then the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker movie. The animated movie. So just let me know what you think. Pilots aren't that great, but yeah, but just to, just to get introduced to the world and then watch just the uh, Return of the Joker movie. I think you might actually enjoy it. Do you remember how cool and different the Darkwing Duck pilot was? Did no, Darkwing Duck. Oh, Darkwing Duck was great. I knew about it, but I I don't. I it, it was something I never caught as a mm -hmm. so. I want you to watch the Darkwing Duck pilot. No, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> No, I, I genuinely think his uh, Return of the Joker is like one of the best Batman animated movies. Well, you're going to be disgusted by this. Yeah. I'm right. going to say this. I've never seen any of the animated Batman movies, including Mask of the Phantasm, which I heard is phenomenal. Yeah, you really, you're really, you really going to want to watch Batman Ma uh, Mask of the Phantasm. It's so do I need... So Connor has seen a lot of the Batman animated series years ago. Is this something where we need to refresh ourselves on it? or can No, we kind of actually, this? one of the cool things about Mask of the Phantasm mm -hmm. was that it actually told you, like that version of Batman, it actually finally told you some of his origin because the cartoon oh. never did. So it was kind of standalone. It, it No, it, it takes place in that universe, yeah. but it's like it's a character from his past coming back. Gotcha. And he flashes back, and you see kind of how he became oh, Batman, okay. which they never okay. talked about really in the show. Like I need, to, I need to watch it. I've been putting it off for so many yeah, years. Yeah, um, I'd say yeah. Watch uh, Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, definitely watch the Beyond Pilot and the Return of the Joker, and just let me know what you think. Because if you Connor, like animated series, those are like some of the best work. Yeah, I, I do. I just yeah. you know you, you get older, and then you kind of forget about it. And uh, yeah. No. Connor, Connor watched the, the Batman Ninja Turtles movie. I still haven't watched that, and I own it now. <laughs> I don't know if he was, like, huge on it. He, yeah. he seemed like... We own it, too, on, like, Amazon Prime or some crap. Yeah. But, uh, he's uh, like, he's but okay. Mask of the Phantasm just got a 4K release I got to pick up. Oh, nice. Yeah. So now would be the time to watch it. <laughs> I just have two more articles. We can go through them pretty quick, because okay. I, I really don't care that much about either of these things. Mm -hmm. Um... Marvel has announced finally after years of speculation. God damn it. I they have their Fantastic Four. And no, Jim Helpert, John Krasinski is not gonna be Mr. Fantastic. I, so so uh on my way to Madam Webb, I realized I tweeted something accidentally and I almost got canceled. Oh um, no, I can't stand Pedro Pascal. I'm sure he's a fine actor. But everything, I, I feel like, and you know what? You said something similar about Catherine Newton recently yeah. and Lady Frankenstein, and I agreed. I actually liked her in that. Yeah. I feel like maybe I'm just, maybe everything I watch with him just happens to be bad, and I'm just not seeing the good things. But I hate Mandalorian. I hated Kingsman too. Uh, he was in some other stupid thing I you watched. Like even, I thought he was great in Kingsman too. Uh, Kingsman like was the, sucked. He is the cowboy, um, right? He was good. Yeah. I just, and Wonder Woman 84. And the unaired Wonder Woman pilot. That's uh, two Wonder Woman things yeah. he sucked in. I mean, um, he, he was honestly, I thought the best part of Wonder Woman 84 because so, he was so flocky in it. So I see that he's there. I actually like all the other people they picked. What about The Last of Us? He's Joel in The Last I didn't of play us. the game and I didn't watch the show because I don't like Pedro Pascal. Yeah, he's, so I'm, he's fine in it. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, I really, I love the Fantastic Four. I wanted to see it get done right. I was excited for this. And then I bitched about him and I tweeted it. And then 10 minutes later, I was getting more replies than usual. And I realized I left out one letter in his name and it looked like I was being way meaner than I intended to be. And I was like, oh no, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> As I'm like going into Madam Web with the popcorn bug. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. That's uh, fantastic. Well, Tony, uh, thanks for coming on the channel. Uh, <laughs> 
but no, I just I hope the movie's good. I do like I. Well, I let really... me give you the rundown of the characters. Okay. We have Pedro Pascal as uh, Reed Richards, Mister Fantastic. Yes. Vanessa Kirby. What do you think of Vanessa? I I, I enjoy that casting. I liked her in that stupid Fast and Furious spinoff and the new Mission Impossible's. I, I like Hobbs good... and Shaw too. That was a stupid fun movie. I think she's a good fit for the character. She was also in that recent Napoleon flick. If you saw that, I didn't see that. It was all right. No. It was all right. Yeah, I think she's a good pick for Sue Storm. I like it. Yeah, I I think it's funny that Sue Storm's continuously played by bombshell actresses, and then her power is to turn invisible. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, Joseph well, Quinn, got... your your boy from uh, Stranger Things, he's going to be Johnny Storm, the Human yeah, Torch. That's, a, that's actually not a bad choice either. I like I him. Yeah, he's fun. I saw some people complaining about that. I'm like, nah, he's he's young. He's like Eddie Munson. Eddie Munson. Yeah. I think that works. I do too. I like him. I'm I'm glad to see him getting other roles because I don't know him from anything else outside yeah. of uh, outside of Stranger Things, and he yeah. was he dominated that season. Yeah. And then we have Eben Eben Moss. I don't know this Bak- guy. Bakrak. He looks. Oh, funny. that's part of his name, Eben Moss Bakrak. He, it's a hyphen yeah. name. Is Ben Grimm the thing? Uh, let me look it up. He apparently was in Punisher. He was in the oh he's in the Hulu series The Bear, which I heard is really good because he apparently was in boards. the he was apparently in the menu, but I don't remember that. Oh that. yeah, the menu's great. I the menu that. was good. It's just his part. I'm who is he on. in the who's in the, I've seen the menu twice now. Who the fuck was this guy? I don't know. I just I googled him and I all right. Let me type in that menu. I was he one of the. Food critics? I don't. Wait, is he not in the menu? Fucking Google said this. he was, and now it's not. I don't. I don't recognize him from that movie. It would have been really funny though if I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, he was great in the menu," and then you're like, "Oh no, I guess he wasn't in the menu." So I, I clicked on his name, and then that stupid movies and shows tab on Google. It's not accurate. It's no, really no, not. That's what I said. I don't know if I trust these. I'm Eli going to IMDb. Movies. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure but, this out. Uh, no hard feelings. I know you saw that movie. Yeah, I like no hard feelings. He He's was in that? Andor, but I didn't watch that because I don't care about Star Wars I anymore. I saw like three episodes of Andor. It was yeah. He had fine. a big. He was a big character in The Punisher, but I haven't watched that in a bit. Yeah, um, I, I, I've been watching less TV now. Yeah. Uh, he looks like he's mostly like a TV guy until recently, maybe. So I've been catching up on Rick and Morty this last season. It's been good. I've been enjoying that. I was never a Rick and Morty. Oh, speaking of Eli Roth, he was in that. Uh, sh- is Eli Roth involved in this? No, that's someone else. Uh, well, he was yeah, in you're... Nosferatu. It's some like vampire show. So I want to check that out. Well, Nosferatu is not out yet. That comes out this no, year. No, 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 no. It's, it's spelled, it's spelled like a license plate. N-O-S-4-A-2. Oh, okay. I okay. know it's on some streaming platform. Zachary Quinto's in it. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I don't really know what to think about that cast. It's probably fine. Uh, Overall, I think this is okay. I agree with you, Pedro Pascal. And I actually think Pedro Pascal is great as an actor. Yeah. I'm more annoyed that he continues to get cast in roles that I don't see him. Like, I don't, I don't picture him as this character, like Joel in the last of us. Yeah. I thought both Joel and Ellie were pretty badly miscast and I yeah. liked that show and I thought they did a good job, but I could have saw someone else doing a better job is I guess what I'm getting at. Um, he He's fine though. I think he's a, a reliable you know, good actor. You know, it's funny. Like I don't even think he's going to be in this movie that much, but I, I kept seeing stuff for this new movie. It's like a little indie movie called uh driveway dolls by Ethan Cohen. Oh yeah. 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 And I was like, well, I should see that. And then I like walked past the poster and I saw his name. I'm like, oh, fucking never mind. Because it's probably going to suck. Is he your Aquafina, Tony? <laughs> he is my is Aqu- he your Aquafina? Aquafina. Aquafina was my Aquafina until okay. Renfield. So now I don't know. But what? she still sucked in Renfield. <laughs> Look, she's, gonna wa- be, she's gonna ruin Kung Fu Panda 4 now. She's a major voice in Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, uh, is Pedro Pascal also in that one? Probably. Let me look up what other movies he's going to be in. I still haven't watched the Nicolas Cage movie because he's in it. And I love Nicolas Cage. And I thought that was a funny idea for a movie, but I just can't stand him. Oh, Oh, he's in Gladiator 2. Yes. Fuck Fuck all the way off. Oh, Oh, my God. 
my gosh. Okay, we're gonna move on to the final article. This will be so quick. Fucking mad about that. God damn it. If you guys have any questions for Tony or I, uh, or have any recommendations for Pedro Pascal films for Tony to watch, <laughs> super chats now or forever hold your peace. We'll catch up to the ones we missed and we'll go over the final ones after this article. <sighs> Jurassic World director found in Rogue One filmmaker Gareth Edwards. Yeah. We're getting away from David Leach. Um, and you know who's writing it too, right? No. David Cope, the guy who wrote the first two movies. Like Jurassic Park and Lost World Jurassic Park. He's... Well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Michael Crichton wrote. Well, I uh, mean the script. I'm sorry, but Michael Crichton wrote those movies. R.I.P. Pour one out. No, uh, I mean, look, uh, fucking David Cope is still, I mean, he's always been a little hit or miss. Yeah. He's had some big misses late. Although he's credited for Dial Destiny, but I think he wrote an early draft that he had nothing to do with the final product. Uh, that's and like had, a, that's like David Fincher coming on to do Alien 3 when the whole thing was already ruined, yeah. right? Kind and he like also that. he did write the screenplay for The Mummy, but he did like those uh those um Da Vinci Code movies. Uh, uh he's ugh. still he's that's still like helping. Ghost Town was good, that that comedy Ricky Gervais. He did do the screenplay for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but He's always been a little hit or miss, but when he hits, he hits pretty hard, like Spider-Man, okay. Jurassic Park, Mission Impossible, the very first Mission Impossible movie. Oh, he did The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. He wrote that. Yes, there were the and, two bullets hit. That's the only part I remember. The two come bullets. Come on, he, he wrote Death Becomes Her. That movie's great. Oh, so, yeah. Fantastic. So, Willis and uh, who else? Yeah. Who are the two um, ladies? Oh, Helen, uh, hold on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me click on it. Let me well, click on it. It's going to bother me. The blonde I think is, it's, it's not Farrah Fawcett, is it? No, no, no. no, no. It's no, no. Uh, Goldie Hawn and Meryl, Meryl Streep. Yeah, Meryl Streep. That's right. She was yes. a she was a knockout in that movie. Yes. And that was a great fellow. movie. I should watch Death Becomes Her again. Probably, Actually, like, I kind of want to rewatch it now, too. That movie's obscure enough, Tony, where I could see Hollywood going, time to remake Death Becomes Her so yeah. we can get the sales of the original up again and remind people of that movie. Yeah. Roadhouse is right around the corner. I'm so, Stop reminding me. That Roadhouse, Roadhouse is right around the corner. I really don't want to review Roadhouse. Taste your tears from here. Ugh. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a good. The director here, this is a good call. Yeah, um, we talked about it on our uh, end of the year wrap up. The creator is like the first time I think he nailed like likable characters and great visual effects. Well, his visuals are top notch. Even Godzilla, yeah. that's one of the prettiest looking Godzilla movies. Um, I think. Yeah, by the way, that movie's been fixed. A lot of people complain that the movie's too dark. The 4K restoration fixed it. I don't know what that initial Blu-ray release that because I don't remember it looking that bad in the theater. Uh, but the Blu-ray for 2014 Godzilla was awful. Like you can't yeah. see shit. But the 4K release, you can actually make out everything. And did um, they did they remove Taylor Johnson's character from no, the film? unfortunately he's still in there? Okay, uh, that's still why I'm glad Gareth Edwards isn't writing this one. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully it's, they won't fire him secretly like they did for Rogue One. They apparently fired him secretly from Rogue One. It's weird that this is still being referred to as Jurassic World. Uh, um, because, it, dude, all right, Jurassic. So it's, I doubt it's going to be a hard reboot. It's just going to be, you know, they don't need to reboot it. They have dinosaurs in the world. You can do a lot with that concept, even though they fumbled it with the last one. I don't, they shouldn't reboot it. I, you don't through. need to reboot it, but why not start a new trilogy and call it like Jurassic Universe? So Jurassic <laughs> Galaxy, no, dude, Jurassic, you know. Dude, the branding is so good if you go to go to your local target right now mm -hmm. jurassic world toys are still stocked really like, yeah and the movie's been out for a couple of years like that <sighs> merchandise does so well uh so they're not going to change the name because there's a new cartoon series coming out it's a sequel to the previous say, but the, okay yeah okay let's pull let's pull back a second do you yeah. think kids give a shit if it says jurassic world on the box or if it says jurassic kingdom on the box no but you get dinosaurs they yeah but you get the best them. you get the best of both worlds because if you have the branding they're like i want that not a generic t-rex toy that's yeah, how they did it in the 90s keep the branding you just call it jurassic kingdom there's three yeah. jurassic kingdoms i do not want this to be jurassic world anymore well look they already suck look they ruined universal's park in uh california by making a jurassic world so the day they take down the 93 visitor center 
in Florida is the day I stopped going to Universal Studios. You know, I've been to Universal Studios now several times, probably yeah. like 11 times, and I've never been able to go on that Jurassic Park ride, the water one, because oh, it's, it's, always, it's always under construction or like off season. But that Velocicoaster, yeah. man, that I, ride is awesome. Dude, that Velocicoaster scared me so much. I will never go on it again. <laughs> I don't I don't like the hang time. No, because there's that where you feel like you're coming out of your seat. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the lap bar. Like yeah. me and my mom thought we were gonna die. Like we yeah. got on, we got on the ride, and then I went, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Apparently, like engineers and stuff, they're like, it's physically impossible for you to fall out of yeah, your seat. Yeah, they know what they're doing. But I ju- I need something to make me feel safe because I was That's so why scared. you bring the Dune popcorn bucket with and you just stick it in ah! the <laughs> <laughs> um, But no, I, I said this when Dominion came out because people were like, that didn't feel like the end of a series. I'm like, because it's not. It's no. just setting up for multiple spinoffs. We need more mega locusts. That's <laughs> going to be about. Well, so they, they realized they fucked up that one. They're like, all right, let's just try other ideas with dinosaurs in the world. Um, you think here's Owen's my... coming back and Claire and the whole crew, or you think they're going to get new cast? No, I don't think any of those guys are coming back. I think that Sam Neill and them, they just did that for that movie. That was just, yeah. I normally that would bother me, but the fact that I knew that they were doing it as a middle finger for Disney for fucking up their reunion in the Star Wars sequels, like, all right, that's kind of funny. That's like, oh, you guys had all the actors, you didn't put in any scenes, and now they're all dying. Here's all the Jurassic Park cast to get all together. All right, well, uh, let's go over some super chats. And oh, do you think the movie's gonna be good? Um. I know you hate Jurassic World more than me. Uh, well, I like the first Jurassic World. Yeah, I, I like, like the first Fallen Jurassic Dominion. World. Here's my I, thing. I don't like Dominion or Ju- whatever the second Fallen franchise. Yeah, so here's my thing. Uh, yeah. Jurassic Park shouldn't have been a franchise. Well, Everything they, that none- was said, ne- that needed to be said was said in the first movie. So I'm like, look, if you're going to make a movie, at least make it fun and exciting and <laughs> To have stupid shit, I'll enjoy it. How many how many movies need to be franchises at the end of the day? I, 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 I would say dude, like I, 90% of them shouldn't have been. Dude, I, grew up with the, I grew up with the Carnosaur movies. I don't yeah. really have high standards yeah. for dinosaur films. <laughs> so if you're going to do more Jurassic Parks, I'm like, yeah, sure. That dinosaur is running around motorcycles. No, I love, nuts. Honestly, I, I will watch a million Jurassic Park movies. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch them till I die because they don't make dinosaur movies. We, we, yeah. we took us 65 million years to get 60. 65. Yeah. Uh so in Land Before Time, they're they're done shitting those animated shit. Oh, movies, they made uh, 10,000 10, of, of them, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll watch them. I just kind of want them to understand that uh, Jurassic World was a fucking nightmare and they should just yeah. start over and be like Jurassic Kingdom. It's its own thing. Jurassic Universe. It ties just, in with it, it divides in with Universal Studios. I don't know. I just don't want them to like it's just like no, the dinosaurs are out in the world. Tell stories there. I don't want to go back to another island with a park. We've been there. Just have fun but with there's dinosaurs. Clone right there. people there now. There's a clone girl and Owen. Yeah. And, and also, I also Dominion made a lot of mistakes, but I also think COVID really fucked that movie yeah, too. Because there were like yeah. there were like Jake Johnson from Jurassic World was supposed to come back and everything, but then they shut down for six months. He's like, I can't do it now. So oh, I think there were a funny. lot of changes bring made. Jake Johnson back. That's funny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well. All right, we have a perm for ten dollars doing super chats now, so get them in. <laughs> Thank you, perm. Shot a cannon. <laughs> Is he abbreviated? Shot a cannon. Short. He's doing you. Yeah, he's doing me. Shot a cannon. I can't say it's all like an idiot. Short for shot out of a cannon. I played more hours of Borderlands than I should admit. The villain, handsome Jack, is in the conversation of best villains in a game. Wow. Oh. That's bold. That's mm. a bold statement, Perm. And he's so handsome, apparently. He's handsome, Jack. I heard the Telltale. Um, have you played any of the Telltale games, Tony? Before? Uh, I played the Telltale Jurassic Park, actually. Oh, nice! And then, like, The Walking Dead was really good. I didn't. I didn't play The Walking Dead. I think I only played Jurassic Park. Oh no, I played the first Telltale Batman. Yeah, that, Batman. that was good. Yeah, that um, was fun. A little funny, glitchy, but fun. It's funny they're all good. It, it's yeah. funny that they made a Borderlands Telltale game. Yeah. It's a game off of a game. Kind of. Yeah. Really, it's good though. Yeah. And I think Handsome Jack was a big part of that as well. Uh, okay, we have Iron Pack fan. 
one dollar. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just nothing to say. Just there's a dollar. I, I like maybe that. it's a sticker. We don't know. <laughs> well, so a person gave a super sticker right away and it said super sticker. Oh I can see it. Um, oh, and he's back. Two dollars. They just announced a Ferris Bueller spin-off. No, why? No, why? I hate this world. Is this like a Super Bowl thing? Like the last yeah, time? What yeah. the Ferris Bueller new movie spin-off? Don't fuck me on this, Google. Sam and Victor's day off. Oh, they talked about this forever oh, this ago. The, the car guys guy. that stole the car. No. Dude, they announced they I announced this, this movie. Dude, they announced this movie like seven years ago, and I guess it got shelved, and now they're trying to do it again. Everyone complained that it was a bad idea years ago. Why are they it trying is. this again? Iron, Iron Pack fan, we got you. Paramount's oh. Ferris Bueller spinoff film lands director David Katzenberg. It's the follow-up feature. To the 1986 comedy. It's the follow-up. No. Oh, it's about the valets. Um... <laughs> this is... I know it's supposed to be like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. There's that play about those two minor characters in Hamlet and them having an adventure, but... We don't need it for Ferris Bueller. No, like... my God. Who's writing this? Do we even have a writer? It's not John Hughes. Written... Uh, no, I don't know. Like, why do we need a spinoff of them? They stole the car and went for a joyride. That was funny. Because, they again, the they have this, like, stupid system in Hollywood where they look at properties that are that were popular yeah. and still have a following, and they go, okay, how can we pump up D how can we pump up streaming sales or get people interested yeah. in Ferris Bueller so we'd sell T-shirts and do whatever? And and then they do this crap, and it's so disgusting. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. Ferris Bueller's back. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Logan Wolf for 1039. Thank you, Logan. Madam Webb bombed, but Dakota ruled the press tour. Yeah, she was pretty funny she in all funny. those interviews. She was funny, but also at the same time, I, I hate her for being so... She's like <laughs> a mega Nepo baby. She has 14 different celebrity relatives. It's just... Yeah. Um... And you can tell she's like, you know, I really value my sleep. I get like 13 hours of sleep a day. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, lady. I Don't will really... say I I did really like her in the Suspiria remake. I heard she's good in that. I heard but she's good in that. I'm looking at this now. I don't think I've seen her in anything else. So well, the 50 Shades franchise, oh, of course. 21 Jump Street. She played someone named Fugazi, and I don't remember who that is. 50 Shades, Tony. She was apparently in the social. I didn't see Fifty Shades. She's apparently oh. in the social network. It's a hmm. soccer mom, softcore porn, Fifty Shades of Grey. Hmm. Psycho Jet Black for $2. Adam, who's a better lover? Tony or Pedro Pascal? Well, unfortunately, Psycho Jet Black, I haven't had the privilege. Uh. I haven't had the luxury of being with either of these fine gentlemen yet. So I, uh, TBD, I guess I would say <laughs> TBD. <laughs> If um if Tony's Dune popcorn cup could talk, <laughs> we we might have an answer to that question. <laughs> All right, and one from Kyle Nelson. Thank you, Kyle, for for two dollars. Example: Jurassic Underworld, a zombie dino movie. We got it. What about the Jurassic Park Fast and the Furious spinoff? I want oh to yeah. See? Vin Diesel you know what I would like? running a T-Rex. You know what I would like? Even as a video game, like they fucking, um, who does Resident Evil? Is that uh, oh, Capcom? Her, her, hus her husband. Oh, you mean the games? Yeah. Yeah, the games. Yeah. It's Capcom. Why yeah. haven't they rebooted the Dino Crisis series? Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. Resident Evil with dinosaurs. Like I love Dino Crisis. That yeah. would be a cool one. Classic. And no, those they only made like two or three of those games. No one actually gives a shit about the story. You can yeah, make that they, into a movie. They didn't, they didn't do that great. They made they made Dino Crisis three like a sci fi game. Remember? What yeah, but Resident space? Evil also got pretty stupid. Oh as yeah, it went on. yeah, yeah. But those movies sold very well. Yeah. Uh, Dino Crisis three. I don't think. I'm did. even talking about just the games. Resident Evil got stupid as they went. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. No, I, I was with you, but I'm saying yeah. they all sold incredibly well. Where Dino Crisis, I think, was more cult, and I think it fell yeah. off by the third one. So you're gonna have a hard time getting Capcom to be like, oh yeah, we'll yeah. we'll put a bunch of money into a Dino Crisis movie. I did enjoy Dino Crisis one. I got to replay that. Um, Jurassic. I want a Jurassic Park movie at this point with Hobbs and Shaw. I want a Hobbs and Shaw Jurassic Park movie. I think that you bring back Vanessa Kirby, bring back 
who was the bad guy? It was uh, what's his nuts? Idris Elba, but he died. Idris, Idris Elba? No, no, no. This this is Fast and the Furious logic, did, Tony. No, because the evil Illuminati turned off his nano machine. Did I tell you when I saw that? I had only seen the first two Fast and the Furious, so I skipped to that one just to see how funny it would be. And I'm like, I'm sorry, secret agents, nano machines, <laughs> Illuminati. I'm like, what the f- how the fuck did we get here? That movie looked a lot. A lot like that G.I. Joe movie that came out, the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With, the, where they the have the super Cobra. suits and they're running on the side yeah. of the bus. It yeah. looked like the same movie some of yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh okay, we have one more super chat here from Mr. Flickster for five dollar mm-hmm. Canada. What movie do you think should never get remade? Roadhouse. Yeah. It's funny you asked that question, Mr. Flickster, because I was on that Hot Takes panel with Sean Chandler and Cody Leach at Megacon, and that was one of the questions. What movie do you think should be remade? And Sean Chandler had the audacity to say, Back to the Future. Everybody threw up arms at the panel. Tony, the funniest part about that was, um, this was at Megacon. A lot of people were dressed up as Marty McFly because the cast of Back to the Future yeah. was all there. A woman gets up in the front row. She's like, the cast is here! The cast is here! <laughs> um, no, I don't think Back to the Future should ever be remade. I think that some movies are just, it's like a its like a piece of art, like a Mona Lisa. You look at it, you don't try no. to replicate it or redo it. It's kind of like a great book. I don't think they remake books. To my knowledge, you know, there's no like. I mean, once once something goes to the public domain, it gets remade a shit ton. Look at Dracula and Frankenstein. No, uh, no, no. But what I'm saying is like, I don't think another author looks at Lord of the Flies and says, "All right, I'm going to make a new version of Lord of the Flies <laughs> <a> book." <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm going to rewrite the same. I'm not going to change anything. Exactly. That's it's what I'm not saying. Interpretation. We're I'm not going to like change a few details. I'll we're make. Not, we're not going to get a Harry Potter remastered book series yeah. uh, by a different author. <laughs> author down the road that would be insane uh and i think a lot of movies should be like that yeah if they're really good yeah timeless films what's the point you know just do a new movie you can believe it or not do different movies that are basically the same but called yeah. something different look at rat race which is yeah. basically cannonball run or uh, kind of a loose remake of cannonball I run think but i think it's a remake of it's a mad 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 world I well, think that's that, what rat race is I think that's what it is. They're very similar movies. but Rega- I think just, Regardless, it, it yeah. kind of takes the ideas of both. But there's a lot yeah. of examples like that where, uh, you know, you, you take a movie that's very similar in concept and you just do something new with the story. Yeah. And I think that that's what you could do with Back to the Future. I'd absolutely love to see a new Back to the, like a time traveling film where you go back to the past. Well, they kind of well, did was- that in Men in Black 3. I mean, that was basically what Men in Black 3 was, where uh, yeah. Tommy Lee just, Jones goes to see his younger self. and They just yeah. did it in that movie, Totally Killer, where it was like a Back to the Future slasher. And that exactly. was fun. That was exactly. Fun. That was perfectly fine. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Back to the Future should be touched. I don't think Jaws should ever be touched. Th- no. There's just so many There's movies so that... many ripoffs of Jaws. Why even bother remaking well, right, it? Right, right. Because it's all about the branding, right? It's all yeah. about the name. But, I mean, um... Yeah, I feel like a lot of movies that I love have already been remade. Like, I'm mad about Roadhouse, but honestly, it's just like, well, they already ruined RoboCop and Halloween, and uh, I'm sure there's another one in there. I'm just like, who fucking even cares anymore? <laughs> I know. They tried redoing The Thing, which was well, that, uh, which was ironically a remake, but I mean, come on. The original came it, out and what the Well, it was supposed to be a prequel, but then they rehashed so many yeah, things from yeah. the original. It's like, wow. So this alien must have, when it gets to the first movie, it must be like, wow, I'm having deja vu. I feel like I did this two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was I, was I here before? Oh, um, wow, these guys are also doing the test. Oh, wow, I got to really up my game. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very specific type of alien. He likes to get, it's like a serial killer. He likes to recreate the scene. Um, well, they're doing that with Twisters. Twister oh, with an yeah. S at the end. Yeah. And I remember the interview with the actor. He goes, it's not a remake. It's not a sequel. It's not a prequel. It's its own thing. And then I see yeah. the trailer. It looks almost identical to they the have original movie with thing. Dorothy 5. In 2025, in 2024, we're still using fucking Dorothy machines yeah. to shoot. Twister. 
re what's the last time you rewatched Twister? Oh my god. Um well, my kids have seen it, so it couldn't have been more than I would say probably okay. five years ago. I don't know. Last time I watched Twister, I don't know if you noticed this, but I love that movie. I don't care what you first, say. I love that movie. The first day in Twister, yeah, must be the longest fucking day ever. Like I'm rewatching <laughs> it, and I'm like, wait, this is all on the same yeah. day. I'm they, like, they hunt down like four tornadoes in one day, right? And by the way, the movie starts off really sunny, like it's yeah. late afternoon, yeah. and then it goes on for. 15 more hours and then the nighttime scene is like 30 minutes and it's back to another day i'm like how long is this day this can't possibly be in 24 hours paxton's like you're not from around here i can tell our days last for about 72 hours over in this literally like in that day i think he's just like hi honey here's my ex-wife and then like uh, four hours later he's like professing his love to helen hunt the new wife is listening I'm like wow that was a rough day for this <laughs> the storm goes from an f1 to an f5 <laughs> in the course of like four hours and, <laughs> and then they, they, and, they, and, they and paxton, paxton leaves his wife and ends up with <laughs> another wife and remember if you tie yourself to a pole <laughs> you'll survive the hurricane I mean, the tornado won't like just shred you debris in the tornado it was the best you. it was awesome just, just 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 put some belts on that old pipe it survive. was the best truck commercial ever they drive it through a house up some stair it's awesome i love that movie i don't care my favorite is the dad gets himself killed for no reason in yeah. the beginning yeah because he's holding the door and it drags him away but then the <laughs> mom and daughter are fine it's like wait if he just hung out in the back with him <laughs> honey <laughs> your your father uh your father's a fucking idiot. I don't know what to tell you. He's just not uh, smart. He's I hope the new guy. one is just as dumb, but it'll probably be like independent. No, Tony, what they didn't you. show you is there was another boy on the side named Clark. And the dad <laughs> was like, don't save me. Don't <laughs> save me right now. And he's like, but I, I could just say, like, nobody would even see me do it, dad. I'm so fast. He's like, no. I am glad they called it Twisters because that was the joke. Like if they do a yeah. sequel this year, even though the first movie has multiple twisters, that one probably should have been called Twisters. It should have been um, called Twister, another cow or something. Another, <laughs> another one, the same one, the same you know movie. Really, it's the same movie. You know what really pissed me off? Hmm. Bad Boys Three was called Bad Boys for Life, and now they're doing a fourth one. I'm like, why would you waste and the they four? They can't use the four. They can't why waste the four. That? It's so stupid. Anyway, well, they'll call it Bad Boys Forever, maybe. But you have to at that You have point. to. You have to say bad boys forever. Yeah. Because then you can do the four. Yeah. Uh, I, I just... One more thing on Twister. I, I was pretty young when that movie came out. And I remember watching... I think it was an award show. Golden Globes or Academy mm -hmm. or something. And they cut away to Spielberg who had won an award. But he was on the set of Twister. Yeah. And... I'm a dumb kid. I still probably would have been convinced otherwise now, but he goes, yeah, I'm on the set of my new movie. I'm really excited about it. It's called Twister. It's using state of the art. Cause he produced the movie is like yeah, it's state think, of the um, art technology. Michael Crichton like worked on it too. And uh, I'm like, they're making a Twister movie based on, the, <laughs> based on the game. And I'm supposed to be excited about this. And Spielberg's, I had no idea the tornado another like term for tornado is twister yeah dude that was yeah. that was the that was the beginning of the end for jean de bont yeah he did he, speed he directed twister, that, yeah and then speed two and then the haunting remake and then it all went to shit with lara croft tomb raider the cradle of life he directed speed two yep how do and you I direct have... two movies so completely different well, you can learn in my review of Speed 2 that I did over the summer with an actual boat captain. <laughs> we have a lot to say about that film. Ski, de, 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 de. Yeah, is this the one that said I was an asshole? Yes. Yeah. Um, I, can't Adam, wait. I, I would love to meet her. Adam, this might, you were kind of an asshole at that end of the year wrap up. <laughs> um, you're actually an asshole on most of the wrap up. <laughs> Dude, you don't know like the mental struggle I did coming up with a new Lord of the Rings thumbnail because you ripped me apart live <laughs> for the for the half-assed one I did. <laughs> I I'll, use the new I'll YouTube be I'll be nicer YouTube. on your wrap-ups. I use no, no, go harder. That's makes it entertaining. Are you an idiot? That's funny. Yeah. Uh no, I had to use the new YouTube feature where you can upload multiple thumbnails and it picks whatever <laughs> one might be the best. Cause I was like, fuck. <laughs> Just have me on a on a like a live while you're making the thumbnail so I can just <laughs> criticize it. No, 
No, nope, I don't like that. I don't like what Fuck you're doing you, here. Add more bloom lighting. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Uh, Psycho Jet Black for two dollars. Thank you, Psycho. When are you going to film two guys one popcorn bucket? Oh, <laughs> that's a timely reference. Anybody remember two girls one cup? Oh, wow, God. What, a, what a time to be. What year was that? Uh, that, I remember it my first year of college, so 2008. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been, it's been a hot minute since that. That was kind of, internet was really still coming into its own, really blossoming into something special at that point. Yeah, I don't know, Psycho Jet Black. Um, he has the bucket. We just don't really, we haven't seen by, each other in By the way, yet. Two Girls, One Cup was the unofficial nickname for the trailer. Do you know what the full-length movie was called? I don't. Hungry Bitches. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Fun fact, Tony, I have never seen Two Girls, One Cup. I made it like two seconds in. I'm I like, no, was, I'm good. Yeah, I Fuck heard it was this. so gross. Yeah. And I kind of got the gist of what it was that I just didn't, I didn't bother. I, I yeah. figured it I wasn't, it wasn't real. It wasn't real poop, but still. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was, it was real to us. Kyle Nelson for $5. Thank you, Kyle. Mint Salad just reviewed Triumph of Will. <laughs> Maybe that's we'll get a remake. Do you know what that is, Adam? You learned about that movie in film school. No. Uh, that was Lenny Riffenstahl, Hitler's uh, propaganda filmmaker. That was like her like pro-Nazi film. Oh, God. Um, you pro? Have pro? Yeah, it was made oh. back. You learn like that is the I don't know if they're doing this still, but oh, in film propaganda school, propaganda film. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a, like an historical film. They're like, yeah, this is propaganda, but like Lenny Riffenstahl, she's a female director, and she had really good camera angles in it. But you wow. know what? That that came out the same day as my Soul Man. I'm like, wow, man, I don't know. I might be pushing the limits with this. And then I saw Mid Sal. I'm like, oh, never mind. Mid Sal took the heat off me. <laughs> That's amazing. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's historically like an important film, but yeah. <laughs> That's Kyle what also says Cannibal Holocaust could also use a remake. Oh God, Jesus! Ugh. What was the What was the Cannibal movie that? Um, thank you, Kyle. What was the Cannibal movie that uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone did? Oh, Cannibal, Cannibal the Musical. The musical, yeah. Which yeah. was distributed by Troma, and I'm friends with the head of Troma, Lloyd Kaufman, the guy who did Toxic Avenger and whatnot. Lloyd Kaufman seems like a cool dude. Did you know he's in Rocky? When? Rocky won when uh, Rocky picks up the drunk guy outside of the bar and brings him into the bar. That's Lloyd Kaufman. That's fantastic. Lloyd Kaufman worked on the production. He like helped get them like the locations. Oh, that's sorry, awesome. Sorry, little little side trivia here. Yeah. So the outside was in Philadelphia, but the inside was in LA. So Lloyd Kaufman on his own dime had to fly out to LA just so they could finish the scene. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What a guy. Yeah. Well, uh, on that note, I think we're about done with Super Chats here. I think I got them all. I hope I did. I apologize if I, I missed one or two, but these were awesome today. Thank you guys for the questions. Yeah. Tony, always always fun having you come on. Always a pleasure chatting movies with you. You have yeah. such fun little pieces of trivia. Yes. Plus a dude bucket. I wasted a lot of time learning about movies instead of talking to girls in high school. And now I'm wasting a lot of time with popcorn buckets because I can't get a girl. So Adam, I've Adam, come full circle, Adam. I've come full <laughs> circle. You should have like a like a scrapbook vlog or something where it's just <laughs> you in the popcorn bucket at different places. And then you can, at the end of the year, after 365 days of different locations, you just kind of <laughs> montage it all together. Just you... <laughs> It's like you at the Great Wall, you at the <laughs> you at the Grand Canyon with the popcorn buckets. Adam, Adam one day I'm gonna visit you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and we're gonna do in. dinner, and you're gonna tell your wife like, "Yeah, Tony's bringing his new girl," and I'm just gonna walk in with the popcorn bucket. You're be like, "Tony, get out of here! I don't want my family to see." This, this is uh, Anastasia. She and I have been we've been together for a while. It's been it's, a while. it's real. It's real love. <laughs> we met during Madam Web. And if that couldn't tear us yeah, together, Dad, why, why does you, why does your friend have that? I don't know. Just don't bring it up. <laughs> if Madam Webb didn't tear us apart, nothing <laughs> could. All right, Tony, what do you got coming up? What do you want to shout out? Uh, well, um, this Monday coming up, we are doing Waterworld. Mm. Uh, but for the first time ever, not only did I rewatch Waterworld for the first Ugh. time since college. Gross. But for the first time ever, I watched the Ulysses cut, which is the extended director's cut. Uh, so the the episode is going to be like, was it really a wreck or does the Ulysses cut fix it? Do they explain uh, how they're able to completely submerge jet skis under the water and have them still work? Because that always bothered me. 
No, they don't. That's just, that <laughs> spoiler, just... spoiler, all the stupid stuff is still in the <laughs> extended cut. Like... How, did they, how did they chain the jet skis to the bottom of the ocean? How did they know they were even going to come through there? Like, what a, what a weird Adam, situation. Adam, there's a lot of stupid bullshit in that movie. <laughs> there's not enough hours in the day to go through that shit. Uh, but yeah, so that is coming up Monday. And then uh, I'm doing a wrap-up. I believe you're joining part of that wrap-up, at least. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I kept the list small, mostly at-home shit. Uh, but yeah, um, all my March episodes are shot and they, uh, come out early on Patreon now. So if hmm. you want to sign up for Patreon or be a channel member, I've been, uh, doing more streaming on Twitch. Uh, and I guess if you're in the Boston area this weekend, I will be around. I'm going to try and do a fan meetup on Saturday. Okay. Uh, sometimes one person shows up. Sometimes six people show up. It's always a gamble uh so yeah look out for me there and uh yeah that, that's all i really got going on cool well it sounds like more than i have going on um, although i do have a buddy flying in from minnesota this weekend so i'm excited to just kind of show him the the, yeah. the carolinas show him around and all uh, the exciting things i do we have one final super chat to end the night from psycho jet black again for two dollars thank you psycho jet black what are your guys thoughts on the movie anastasia the animated, the animated? animated anastasia i don't know of any other I, um honestly i don't recall it very well you know my wife is a big fan of it if we're even talking about the right anastasia i assume it that's the one that's popping them that was uh what's his face and don it, wasn't Di it wasn't disney no no it was don bluth who did yeah. a lot of like famous animations that's when he was trying to like go out on his own was that the troll uh, in central park and some of those movies i he did like um he, let me see. he tried to do he did like titan ae anastasia oh, all I dogs not like titan AE. all dogs go i want to revisit uh titan AE. did he do rock a doodle i'm looking that up right now oh, rock a doodle you remember that movie yo i used to watch that movie a lot the sun is shining um, brightly okay i have it here director okay. Uh, Banjo, the Woodpile Cat, Secret of Nim. People really like that. The yeah. Dragon Slayer video game, Space mm -hmm. Ace. He mm -hmm. did American Tale. Yeah, Five Goes West. He oh, he did do Rock. He did do Rock a Doodle. Yes. I don't think he did Five Goes West, but he did the first American. Oh, film. interesting. Thumbelina. Like oh, you're right. Troll in Central Park. Pebble and the Penguin. Okay. So yeah, and then I guess after Titan A, that was the end of directing uh, movies. Titan A was such a box office fail, and that was I think under Fox, if I remember right. Yep, yep. We should if we ever if I ever get you on set, we're doing Titan A. Titan A, baby. Because I remember being like really pumped for that movie. Yeah, because it had it it married two D, and it was one of the first ones that had like big three D. Yeah, it had a huge cast. I was real excited yeah, to see yeah. it. I remember really liking it at the time. Oof. I I I, I haven't rewatched it in a long time. Th that was kind of around. There was a couple years in a row where anime animated movies they were trying some ballsy things and failing because you had Titan AE, and I don't believe it was that many years later you had that Final Fantasy Spirits Within movie. Yeah, that was terrible. But it had that was also like the almost the end of like big two D animation because then you have like uh Atlantis flaw. I don't think mm -hmm. Atlantis did well. Uh, Treasure Planet didn't do oh, well. Treasure Planet bombed. Atlantis I think did okay, but it was yeah, it yeah. wasn't um anything great. Michael J. Fox in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we don't know much about Anastasia. It's I, been, oh, oh, sorry, it's been I never even answered. Uh, time. I thought it was like okay as a kid, uh, yeah. but it didn't really stick with me. I liked the bad guy in it, but that was it. I remember when it came out, or at least I might be, I might be just mixing things up. I remember it was on a TV in a dorm room at a friend's house, and I was on another TV playing not GoldenEye, the only good James Bond video game, but I yeah. think it was the second GoldenEye that was on like the PlayStation 2 and it was terrible. Oh. And I fucking hated that game. And like, why is this in third person now? Yeah. This is awful. Yeah, That's, That's what I remember from Anastasia the most was how much mm. I was upset about <laughs> the second GoldenEye move, uh, game. Yeah. So not great. Um, yeah, Rock-A-Doodle. I, I need to revisit Rock-A-Doodle. And I need to revisit uh, Five Goes West because I like that movie. And you got to watch Mask of the Phantasm, Batman Beyond, and Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. It sounds like I got a lot of cartoons to watch as, a, as an adult, and I'm okay with that. <laughs>
I mean, I'm not. Cartoons are for children. But yeah, yeah, you should watch them. I thought it was games are for children. Now it's, it's both. It's both. It's everything at this and point. And then there, there are some people that know I'm doing it as a joke. And there's some people that are like, hey, did you say? And I'm like, yeah, I'm being an asshole. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> All righty, man. Uh, we will talk again soon, I'm sure. Yes, we will. I don't really have like a fun way to end this. <laughs> Uh, bye everybody thank you guys for the super chats make sure to pick up your dune urn when you go see dune in a couple weeks i don't think shit comes out this next week in theaters dune doesn't come out until wait is dune next week is that like the 27th dune is like the 29th it's like at the very end well then what's next week because we're out of 21, 22, 23, No, it's next week. It's, it's next Thursday. All right, Dune 2 next Thursday. I will go there. I will review it and probably have it on my channel on Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm sure all the other people that were wined and dined have seen it already, and they have the reviews up. I'm jealous. <laughs> but uh, look for that. Mine will come out much later in the month. But Tony's I will, will come out later. But we will. Well, are we going to talk about it on the year on the the wrap up for the month, Tony? Um, no, that's getting a dedicated one uh, because I did that previous episode. Of course. Uh, Whenever I go on Tony's monthly wrap ups, it's never to talk about legit movies. It's always these like shit things he well, scrapes well, off the bottom of his boot, and he's and like, we're Adam, also what talking about Madam Web on the wrap. <laughs> You're not giving Madam Web a dedicated video? No, Morbius didn't do well, so that gets thrown into the wrap. Madam <laughs> Web is like killing it for uh for reviews. Well, I, I that's what I thought about Morbius, and then it didn't uh, do well, so now it goes on the wrap up. You know what? I think I don't think my Morbius review did well either. So um, now that you say no, that. I, what do I have on there? I did that uh there's that new Jenna Ortega movie, Miller's Girl. No, no. It's like a no. drama. There's a horror movie about like a it's like a home invasion, but like the guy in the home is like a wrestler. And I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of fun. You know, like, this is the reason why I'm <laughs> such a prick when I go on your wrap ups, because we're talking about these terrible Adam, movies. Adam, it's for my own sanity. <laughs> I can't talk about big budget schlock all the time. I miss talking about little things. Little just, crappy schlock. Just all let the... me have it. Let me just have a it. spotlight on you little stupid shit. You got it. Before I talk about the next Marvel bullshit they <laughs> came out. <laughs> Oh wow, Ant Man Four! Oh, it's great. Yeah, anyway, Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, fun. I like the movie about Willem Dafoe stuck in the apartment, shitting in a pool. I'm like, that was the best movie I've ever seen. Time uh, to yeah. talk about Ant Man Three. <laughs> Speaking of shit in a bucket, yeah. Ant Man Three. <laughs> All right, on that note, get your Dune cup, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Take care. <laughs>